You're about to watch another exciting episode of The Dungeon Run, but did you know that you can actually be part of the adventure? Tune in live on Wednesday nights at 6 p.m. Pacific time, and you can make your voice heard and help determine the fate of our adventurers. Hope to see you there. Dungeon Run, a live tabletop role-playing game where your interactions help tell the tale. I am Lord Ereban, Keeper of Secrets, and your host for tonight's campaign. Together, we stand witness as our intrepid adventurers face terrible danger and most certain doom in their quest for glory, valor, and most importantly, treasure. Now, Throughout our time together, you will be called upon to help guests guide decisions made within the game. In addition to our live chat interactions, those that are brave enough can purchase one of three unique digital items. You could bestow upon the adventuring party the gift of advantage, the ability to roll two 20-sided dice at once. Wow. Perhaps you'll want to be the wind at our adventurer's backs and add a force of good to the game. Finally, to add an additional challenge to the adventure, you can purchase a force of evil. <laughs> I love the fun! Now, let's meet tonight's brave souls, our cast of characters, if you will. So, please welcome Katie Michaels as Lily Dumblestock. Hello, Lily. Ronald Ogden as Ago. <laughs> Very frightening. Morgan Peter Brown as James Quillers. Hello, James. Jessica Lynn Parsons as Fahima Tig. Meep. Oh, that's cute. Jared K. Jack as Siv Red Thistle. Yes. And finally, our dungeon master himself, Mr. Jeff Kanata. Lord Araban. You look great. I feel good, but not quite as good looking as you, uh. Jeff. All right. Now, as the journey continues, I, Lord Araban, will be joining you in your social conversation around the game. So keep an eye out for my avatar and comments. And with that, keep the comments coming, be ever vigilant, and let the dice roll! <laughs> <coughs> Hey everybody! Yeah. Excited? Let's let's play some Dungeons and Dragons, shall we? Yeah. Okay. Cheers. Cheers to you. Cheers. 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 Yes, cheers. Cheers. Indeed. Cheers. 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 And cheers to you, everyone three. joining us. Cheers. 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 All right. Let's catch everybody up. <clears throat> As you know, it started with a dungeon run. Was it G simple? Simple dungeon run. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> get in. Get out. Grab the treasure. But. The dungeon in question, in this case, an abandoned dragon's lair, was home to another mystery, a magical item trapped in crystal. Our team, without the knowledge to break open the crystal, set up a meeting at a tavern with a powerful wizard named Torvald the Timid. Unfortunately, Torvald sent his apprentice, Suth, in his stead, and when kobolds attacked the tavern and set it ablaze, Suth panicked, and opened a portal back to, back to Torvald's camp. Our team all managed to escape through the portal, but Suth, who was attacked by an unexpected additional monster, 
couldn't quite make it through and was beheaded by the closing portal. When our team presented the severed head and arms of poor Suth to Torvald, there was no time to mourn. Torvald informed our team of a critical investigation that he and his secret order of wizards, known as the Natural Order, were undertaking in the forest. Our adventurers agreed to help Torvald and bravely set off to explore what was described as a structure that didn't belong. What they found was a fallen tower, one of the mystical lodestars of old, broken and toppled. Fighting many monsters and adopting a baby phoenix <laughs> along the way, our heroes made it through the length of the tower to find a woman webbed and suspended high in the air by spiders. In freeing her, she had but one urgent message, leading them over to a broken glass dome at the top of the tower. She extended one trembling finger and said, there, you must get up there. And then they saw it, a glittering tower resting atop the clouds, an active, Lodestar. So we pick up our tale <laughs> as our team rushes through the forest back to Torvald's camp. Ago, the orc carries Diphtha, the sky child, the woman they rescued, who is injured and weak in his arms. And they emerge from a thicker part of the woods into an area full of tree stumps and trampled dirt. As they approach the camp, Torvald rushes out to meet them. What is this? He guides them back to his large tent, and Ugo sets Diphtha down on a makeshift canvas cot inside the tent. And as he does so, Diphtha, who's weak and weary, her arm casually falls and her fingers rest upon the ground. And then her head turns and looks at them and sees them touching solid ground and immediately tears well up in her eyes. And we begin. Oh man, I thought you were gonna say she's gonna disintegrate or something. <laughs> <laughs> Holy no disintegration. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it would, wouldn't be par for the course. I mean, this yeah. is quite a horrible thing here. Yeah. Yeah. Diphtha, is there anything you require? Are, are you feeling better? <gasps> I'm very weak. Don't worry, I can help her. <sighs> and Torvald sets to tending to her. He's kind of wrapping her in some fabric that he has. And his, uh, his large tent has um, a lot of paraphernalia in it, and he's kind of working back, bringing things, pouring uh, liquids into other liquids, and sort of working steadily in the back. And, and she's sort of lying there, just kind of looking at you, dazed with gratitude. As, oh, sorry, go ahead. I'm gonna go over to Torvald. Can I help? Is there anything I can do? I think I've got this. Thank you. Uh, I will require your aid shortly, but I, I must prepare. She seems very weak indeed. I'm going to kneel down next to Dipfa, and, and as subtly as I can, I'm kind of investigating her. I'm, I'm looking at her more closely. I mean, I've never seen anything like her or, or anyone like her mm -hmm. before. So, what? I mean. Could, so her, her skin is bluish. It's bluish, sort of a blue-gray, yeah, like a pale blue, and how, her head is bald. How large is she? She's she's not a lot, not large. She's yeah. a, a, a smallish woman. She probably weighs seventy-five pounds. Oh. She's, you know, yeah. she's not not a not a large like person. Halfling size-ish. No, not halfling. I mean, she's okay. like she's just sort of long and thin, and she's uh, you know she's been malnourished over the last uh, however long yeah. that she was. Uh, captured by those spiders, so. Yeah. Is there any obvious physical wounds on her? Um, I mean, you see scrapes and bruises. Uh, you see, um, uh, it, it looks like some sure. holes yeah. Yeah, in her neck. Um, that's just obvious. You can just sort of tell that she's in bad shape. Okay, I'm yeah. gonna, when I see the puncture wounds, I'm gonna turn to Torvald and say, we found her amidst spiders. She probably is poisoned. That's good to know. I believe I, I have antivenom somewhere here. I hold up the sack that I took out of one of the spiders. And mm. <laughs> Do you oh. know how to make an antitoxin or some sort of poison antidote? Bless you, child. 
And he sets to work and he's oh. kind of in the back working. Uh, I'll go have this. And I pull out the basilisk tongue. <laughs> uh, <laughs> maybe help? <laughs> Thank you, Ago. I, yeah. I'll let you know if I need it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> let him down easy. <laughs> uh, so, so if Diptha's conscious, um, where, those creatures that, that took you, the spiders, were they in the Lodestar previously, or did they beset upon you after you crashed? Oh, I remember I was in the Lodestar attending to the creatures as normal, and there was a, a large crash as if something hit the side of the building, and I, I looked out, out the window. And what I saw was chaos. Flashes of light and wings. I, I couldn't make it out. I couldn't tell what was happening, but it was clearly a, a great battle going on out there. You mentioned dragon wings, I believe. It sure looked like dragon wings, but I couldn't make it out exactly. There was a, a, a clanging and a crash and crumbling rock all around me. There was a sky manta that seemed to be confused. Many of the creatures of the menagerie escaped through the windows, but I set upon trying to help the sky manta out. The next thing I knew, everything went sideways, and there was falling, and I don't know how long after that, but I was on the ground, and I felt hairs stiff, bristles of hairs on my face. And when I opened my eyes, there were many eyes looking down on me. Mm. A colossal spider's fangs poked through the flesh of my neck, and then everything went hazy. It must and have been terrifying. It was. All I felt was tightness after that tightness. Is this the first time you've been on land? <laughs> yes. Oh. I am no longer a sky child. Wait. Well, oh, that's not true. You're always going to represent where you came from. I just left Bingo for the first time, and no one leaves Bingo because it's great, and everyone on the island gets free drinks. But I promise you it's worth it. You're a sweet child. Thank you, but my people have not set foot on solid ground our entire lives. It's what makes us sky children. Well, look, you want us to go up there, right? Yes. So we'll just take you with us. Well, she's quite sick. I fear I'm not... I don't have the strength for that. Maybe now you're like a sky adult. <laughs> you know? We're born... We're all adults. <laughs> we're born of the skies. We call ourselves sky children because our entire race never sets foot on solid ground. I, I, I'm sorry. That sounds like weakness. I'll go. What? It sounds like weakness. If you cannot put foot on ground, how you go anywhere? Well, can you fly? No, I walk. That's what I'm saying. I know, but I'm just saying no one would say it's weak because you can't fly. Oh. Torval comes back and he starts <laughs> applying. Uh, he says, sleep, child, sleep. Please, you must rest. Uh, she, she must rest, I'm sorry. Mm. And he sort of drops some liquid into her mouth and she, she kind of eyes roll back in her head and she seems to kind of fall unconscious. She's right, you know. You must get up to this lodestar. Uh, how? Yeah, uh, exactly. Right. We don't. Uh, That's I, the I can first climb, but I've never maybe flown. a dozen questions. <laughs> Lily made good point. Argo can't fly. Yeah, and neither can Lily. What? I know. This has taken precedent, but there is there is something that may help you. I made progress with our crystal problem. Oh. In fact, I've determined what the item is, and I have freed it from its prison. Oh. Now, my goal was to determine whether this magical item was good or evil. Mm -hmm. And my determination is, I do not know. Oh, that sounds like you didn't, okay. It's kind of a let down. Yeah. This. Oh. Some some items wield power one way or another. Is it both? This. Oh, ah, is that an eye? He's looking at you, Lily. I don't. I believe this is the Secret Keeper's amulet. Magical item of immense power. Mm. And I believe 
It is chaos magic. You may be aware that there are many realities, and ours is separated by planes of realities. What? Beyond the plane, we'll give you there a are presentation gods, later. gods who watch us, who judge us, whose viewership and vicissitudes determine our fate. This item can break through the fabric of that reality. You can speak to these gods who watch us, ask them questions, and they may even be able to affect this reality. Perhaps you've already felt divine inspiration come to you at odd moments. Creatures that should not have been there appearing out of nowhere. Yes. Items that perhaps you didn't know or shouldn't know. Well, we did find some strange things when we were in the ruins. There yeah. was this May have bent lost stick that I threw and it flew away. Indeed. I I'm gonna pull out the back. tongue again. And I got this thing. Ah. And I have these, mag I pull out the seeds. Mm. Oh, I forgot about the seeds. And you gave me this earring. Indeed I did. It made her hot. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> this item. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not touching that. <laughs> <laughs> the Secret Keeper's amulet. I fear it, it, it is your, your object. It is yours. You brought it to me, and I have no right to take it. But I must reiterate, this can break through the fabric of reality, and you can speak directly to the gods who view us. It seems like that could be dangerous. Indeed. Extremely. It can be dangerous or beneficial. I believe it is couched in powerful chaos magic. Is there, not, is there not people looking for it? Wouldn't it be dangerous for us to hold on to well, it? Well, that's probably why the kobolds came looking for it, right. I assume. Someone knows we have it. Someone probably wants it back. Well, what do we need to do to make sure it stays safe, but also we stay safe? Well, it is up to you to decide how to use it and when to use it. But I have one request. I would like to demonstrate what I believe it is capable of. As I said, you cannot always make specific requests of it. They will not always be honored. There are rules, and not everything you ask will come true. But I believe that my personal request now might actually be appropriate because it is these gods that caused this tragedy in the first place. How, how do you know all of this? Through great study and meditation. My order, the natural order, has heard tell of the secret keeper's amulet for many years, and we did not know where it resided. How does this connect to the Lodestar, the Sky Children? I, I... All in due time. This is a tool, a tool for you and your team to use. Now, let me demonstrate what it may be capable of. As I said, the gods are responsible for the tragedy, and I, what has been done cannot be undone, but I believe, I believe that this once, I will attempt to make a request. Oh, ye gods. Oh, do we need to stand back or something? Mm. Mm, perhaps it would be wise. Okay, I prepare. Oh, ye gods of the stream, I come to you now, not a request of my own, but on behalf of my apprentice, Sath. Oh. You manifested a monster that took his life, and I ask you now to make a decision. Should Sath stay dead? Or will you decide to resurrect my apprentice, an innocent boy? Oh, what? Uh. Whoa. Hashtag save And now, I suppose, we wait for their decision. Oh. Aren't you This worried? is weird. What if Sath comes back and he's evil? What if he's twisted? The, we, 
we don't know these gods. Yeah. Do we? He could be touched by goodness too, too right? Well, Sath was a good person when we met him, but he's died. He's passed on. But Should I mean, if he comes back, we can offer him his earring back and like say it was well taken care of, which is like a good like starting like will stepping it, stone to like. Will it be Sath? Good. Right, that's my question. It could be, it depends. There's lots of forms of resurrection. Yeah, what books say? The books say there's lots of different forms of resurrection. It depends. All good, all bad, both? Neither, mostly. Uh, you... Unless you brought up, unless you're resurrected under the control of something evil or good. Will you be able to tell? I don't know. Hmm. This is all. A lot. Like a good litmus test is like if he Cut attacks them. us. Cut them. No, that's like. If he bleed red, he real. I te yeah? technically yes. You you have a point. I just say there is a flash of light, <gasps> and the amulet sparks to life, and it says, "Leave him to rest." Uh. That's creepy. Wow. Well, well, this is good information to have. Clearly the gods are confident in their decisions. I will leave this in your capable hands. As I said, you may come to decision points, crises. You may want to consult the gods and find out if they can help you if they can advise you, you are free to take or leave their advice as you see fit. But this, this allows you connection with them. So they might be able to help us get up to the Lodestar? Well, that, that I do not know. But you had a solution to that, right? I believe so. Are any of you able to fly? No. No. Meep. Oh. Meep. <laughs> what is that now? Oh, uh, that's me. Oh. I think Meep can fly. Indeed. Yeah, we have a bit of catch up and debriefing to tell you about. This is one of the creatures we found there. Mm -hmm. I that wanted... makes sense. The Lodestar was a sanctuary for magical creatures of all kinds, a oh. beacon in the sky. I think we killed some of them, actually. <gasps> Wait, are, are all Lodestars like that? Yes. Oh, wow. Uh oh. Oh, wow. We need to go up there right now. I have reason to believe that. The Wardens, the disappearance of the Wardens may have everything to do with the destruction of the Lodestar that you investigated. And I think more clues to the whereabouts of the Wardens may be in the sky. But Diptha mentioned dragons. Uh, but are the sky I mean, nice? They seem nice. At least Diptha is. Yes. Friendly. Each Lodestar has but one steward. And I fear I don't know what is happening in the, with the steward that is still up there. What is the steward's purpose? Is it to oversee these magical creatures? And, and but what is, what are the Lodestars doing there? I'm sorry, I know I have a lot of questions, but this is sort of my thing, and, and I am, I, I'm lost. Yeah. The and, Lodestar, think of the Lodestar as a, as a lighthouse in the sky, a beacon, a oh. waypoint for traveling sky creatures and okay. individuals of all kinds. Okay. For eons, they have been safe refuge for all manner of creatures flying through the skies, camouflaged as they are with their cloud stone above the clouds. Okay. Now, I think that I can get you up to the sky. I, I have been working on uh, a potion of haste, the potion of haste I gave you. Do you still have it? Yes. yes. If we could, if we could somehow get a propulsion that could be man magnified with my uh, altered potion and uh, protections, I believe we may be able to propel you up into the sky. Would the flight of a baby phoenix be enough? I fear not, it is quite small, and you are all quite large. We're talking like a giant slingshot? Something that could propel you, an explosion, a, a large, I don't explosion. know. Explosion. Something. Hmm. Cannon? 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 
I shoot in sky, like boom, cannons. I That's suppose that could work. Uh, I think there's cannons nearby. I, I don't know where, but maybe somewhere. I, I, there's I, a Highland, yeah? Yeah? Yes. Trees cut down outside? Yes. Yeah. You know how to build a cannon? Nope. <laughs> oh. I know someone who might have cannon. Oh, okay. On Bingo, we had cannons that we would put shirts in and then bring them out at like the party. <laughs> you see Diptha sort of stir, and, and, and it's clear that she's been listening to all of this, and she says, there is, there is another way. I believe there is a herd of wild pegasi <gasps> nearby. Whoa. That's better than cannon. What? I, I fear they have fallen under the sway of Another creature, but I know they are nearby. I'm I'm sorry. I I don't know what Pegasi Pegasi horses. are. I thought horses they were, with wings. I thought they were mythical. Right, but do we know how to ride them? Do you know how to ride horse? We'll learn. Yes. Same thing. Oh, not All right. entirely the same thing. I yep, know. air horses. I feel we, <laughs> we do not have saddles, which uh, would make things quite a bit easier. Well, would I'd, she be able to? Would Diptha be able to come with us? I fear that she is far too weak to make a journey like that. Dip. But you have shown such capability. I've been so impressed by you. You are inexperienced, it is true, but with Suth staying dead, I believe you are our best hope. I shall attempt to make contact with the natural order and rally support. But, but what I'm, if there is a dragon up there? I mean. It's what did dragons like? Oh, Seth. Fire? Yes. Eating people. Let me see. You, you want to use it already? Oh, he says we might deal with dragons. Let me see. All right. Oh. Just be very How careful. does this work? I believe you just speak to it. Do I have to look it in the eye? I don't know. I do. I always look I'm enemy in the eye. Away. Hey, gods, I don't know who you are or who you talk to or what you believe. But I'll go need thing to kill dragon. Give! I'll go, I'll go, I'll go. Say please. Give, please! Better? And then thank you. Also give and thank you! That'll work. Yeah? Yeah, good. I'll go as I said. Yeah. Specific requests may yeah. not be honored. Oh. It is an object of chaos magic, and as we have seen, my request was not honored either. Mm. Well, Sath was capable of, of opening portals from one place to another. Indeed. Are, are you not capable of doing that? If I've been there, yes. Oh, so you had to have been... Yes, if uh, another... Teleportation. If yeah. another wizard has been there, perhaps a Soth can communicate with me or one of my fellow wizards could describe it even, but I, I, do, I do not know. What uh, about Sky Child? She'd been in one, right? Yes. She described? I can do my best, but I fear it's far too dangerous to try. Miss, I've, it's Garumphus, Lord Star, not my own, and they're quite different. I, I'm, I'm sorry, who? Garumphus. Garumphus. That's the steward of the Lord Star that, uh, that's up there. Indeed. Do you, oh, always do you, in pairs. Do you know how to communicate with him? Is there a way for you to send a message to him? Is there a way for us to talk to him? Not anymore. I believe. But you'll need to get up there. Well, I think the Pegasus Society is the best one we've heard so far. So let's go find the herd. Diptha, hi, I'm Lily. Yes. Curtsy. Um, I am just curious, you said the Pegasus are under the influence of another being, another creature? I fear that may be true. Uh, otherwise, they would not stay here, but I have heard from other creatures that they remain. Do you know where? I believe it is nearby. I don't think it would be difficult to find. Great. Hmm. And then second question, if we run into a lodestar in the sky, what do um, the people on board like? Like, my grandma always says to bring a gift to the host. Hmm. And so, is there something we can bring to show that we come uh, in peace? Bring your trust. Garantha is a beautiful man, and I've, I trust him immensely. Okay. Is there any way you can communicate with him from here? Not anymore. No, I fear the destruction of my Lord Star spe speaks the end of that kind of communication. So, 
Maybe you have another solution, but it seems to me we are at a fork in the road. Two potential ways to reach the Lodestar, unless there is something you can come up with that I am not aware of. This may be a time to ask the gods to weigh in. You can consult them, find out if they have a preference, would suggest something for you. Again, you can take their advice or leave it, but it is a resource, a tool for you. I mean, I think the herd of Pegasi uh, is, I, I guess, at least it's, it's a simple solution. It's, it's go there, free them, and <laughs> hopefully... Simply free them. Ride them into the sky. I can't believe I'm saying this. Oh, okay. Okay. Where, where are these cannons? Uh, I, I don't know exactly where cannons are, but, um, hold on. Uh, Ugo, not so good at past, hold on. <laughs> um, uh, Uk, Ukdun or Thorn? Thorn? One of two. It's far away. It is far, those is places it? are quite far. Uh, uh, hold on. Um, Can I, uh, start kind of backing away? Yeah, I, sure. uh, with, uh, so, with this, <laughs> sure. Okay. I'll go. I'll go. Know that orcs cut down trees. Indeed. Make new weapons. And these new weapons are cannon. Oh my. Yeah. So you would say we would get in the cannon and then cannon into the sky? I just know they're cannon, and I know cannon make things go boom and far. I don't know other about side. I feel much safer on a. Creature with wings. I a creature I that can think and make make you fall off from real high sky. No, but if you if are it's nice between to that it. and getting blown up into the sky, I'm uh, just gonna point out that other magical creatures when see Ugo not like Ugo so much. <laughs> that's but, fair. But what if you're able to free them from some creature that's holding them? They'd see you as a hero. What? Yeah. How do horses think Ugo? Hero. Ugo, once they get to know you, there's no way they can't like you. Horse can't, no, Ugo. Horse can't talk. Ugo, Ugo, maybe you could ride two at once, or maybe there's a really big one. Oh, yeah. With with fur around its feet. Black one, maybe? Maybe. <gasps> Couldn't that be fun? Yeah, but I like to kill orcs, and they have cannons. All right, maybe we should ask the gods then. Siv, Siv, Siv. I'm not there. Siv, oh, Siv. great. Siv! Ow! Did I see Siv leave? <laughs> Where's Siv? I'll go, all I right. I think he went for a walk because it's stressful. Let's, Everyone's getting stressed But out. where is... Let's go! No, no. Where is Amulet? It's um, with Siv. Exactly. Where is Siv? Let's... Uh, I want to walk out the door, hoping that we'll all go out together. All right, I'll follow. Siv! Looking for Siv. Siv, are you out there? Uh, outside? Mm -hmm. Outside the tent? No, I'm not. Where, where, just where are you for my, my, so I can know? <laughs> <laughs> nice try. So Jessica can know. Uh, not Fahima. Okay, I want to look for him. Okay, so, yeah. everybody search party! <laughs> Siv! I'll go looking for Siv too. Siv, All right. we're sorry if we hurt your feelings. Uh, Do I hear Perception, investigation, which one? The investigation would be good. Okay, investigation I is... I need you to give me a roll. Sure. Can I send up Meep to sure. look? Yeah. I'm 15 on investigation. Okay. Yee. <laughs> I got a 10. Okay. So, you, as you guys are searching around and looking, you see a bit of red cloth kind of sticking out of one of the smaller tents. <clears throat> I see you, Siv. You come out here now. Bring Amulet with you. All right. <laughs> yeah, I'll go not smart, but he's smart. I'll go, the first step in self-acceptance is stop saying those things about yourself. But I'm just being honest. I use my voice to go inside Siv's head and I say, I know this is crazy. I think we're feeling the same way, but you can't just run off alone and do that. So come back, please. I step out from the tent. I'm holding the amulet up. Mm -hmm. I merely wanted to look at it closer, that's all. Well, you could have done that when the rest of us are around. You were all arguing with one another. I, I thought it was the best time for me to do so. Do I believe him when he says this? Uh, you can roll insight, and you can roll um, uh, deception. Oh, 17. are you deceiving? Uh, 10. So you do not believe him when he says this. I believe you. <laughs> I, think, I, 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 think you, you I think you should hand it to me, please. I'll give it to Ugo. Yes! 
Good idea. I'll go keep safe. I'll go put around neck. Fine. Uh, everyone, oh, everyone, it's been face. stressful, okay? And I've, I've been working through a lot of my emotions over the last couple days, and I understand that all of our tensions are high. But we have to work together or else this isn't gonna work. And I don't want to fall off a flying horse, okay? I don't want to do that either, but I also don't want to climb into a cannon. But or get eaten by a dragon in a sky castle. I, I don't I, either, but I don't want to leave the world. We became adventurers for a reason. Uncle has good idea. What do you want when fighting dragon? Cannon or Pegasus? <laughs> uh, well, that's but a cannon can't point. come with us. And, Ugo, when you you uh, fold your arms over the, the eye, you kind of feel it blink underneath you, and then it sort of gets hot. Oh! Oh! And you hear it go, Pegasus. Oh! <gasps> Uh, oh, I didn't hear that. Only Jessica heard that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you want to go to Pegasus? <gasps> Did it talk to you, Ugo? It, yeah. Oh, I think the gods are wise. The gods are saying that They're Pegasus. also hot. They burn me. Okay. Maybe we can find a little satchel for it or something. Why? It, I thought you just said it was burning you. I meant only when I cover it. Oh, oh, okay. oh. Don't cover eye. <laughs> what? <laughs> what do uh, Pegasus eat? Maybe we can give them something as a gift. So uh, that they trust us. Uh, but if they're thinking. being held, if they're being held by an aggressive creature, well then we'll kill will. that creature and saying. then we'll feed them. I mean, yeah. well, well, just limit the killing if it's not necessary. Torvald, what is creature that has control over Pegasus? I do not know. Oh, I, I would suggest uh, following the the location the dip they might give you and. Scouting it out on your own. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can I roll an Arcana check to see how much I know about Pegasus? Sure. Thanks. Cause I okay. God. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't like an excellent roll. Cocked. It was a little cocked, but it's because oh, the uh, felt is Oh, me. You can you can have yeah. advantage on this roll. In fact, oh, yeah, it. that's from. Uh, Do it. Oh. Uh, Lord <laughs> M. Ben the Strong. Oh, okay. thank you. Yeah. The, the, the amulet sort of glows a bit, and you feel inspired slightly. Oh. Well, that is a 24. A 24. Ooh. So uh, you know that um, Pegasi, Pega Pegasi? Pegasi? Pegasi. Pegasi. Multiple, <laughs> multiple Pegasus. Right now, because I need to be the one who knows. <laughs> yeah. uh, you, are, you are aware that their celestial creatures are very intelligent. Um, they, um, uh, they are winged and large and uh, opinionated. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. What do they eat? They're intelligent, right? Uh, they're very intelligent. They yeah. speak common and oh, celestial. What? Um, oh, yeah. They uh, they can't they can't speak it, but they he understand it. Oh, okay. They yeah. can communicate. Um, or they understand it. Yeah, they're not able to articulate common? it, but they can understand it. Um, what do they like? They are. Uh, what do they like? Yes. Uh, well, they're they are um, <laughs> they are chaotic good. So they're sort of uh, mercurial creatures. Ah. Uh, so they uh, they like what they like. Gifts. You know what I mean? Everyone mm -hmm. likes gifts. And we we, we all love better. what we love. <laughs> I think they can ask them. Like the yeah, indeed. Well, I suppose we could try giving them something a horse might like. Like a carrot. Or they an are apple. horses. Or a salt lick. Right. Right. Jeff, what time of day is it? It's getting into the, I mean, we were at the Lodestar a pretty long time, you so were it's indeed. getting into the evening most yeah. likely. <clears throat> yeah, and especially after the tri trip back, you might want to um, take a little do rest. this in the morning. I yeah. think, yeah. James. What? Ugo wants to say he's sorry. I snap at you when you talk in my head, and I realize you're just trying to help Ugo. Lily takes Ugo's hand and James' hand. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very sort of... Stiff as she's holding my hand. And I'm Uggo's like, completely comfortable with this. Lily's <laughs> like, yes. So, I, Uggo, think long when carry woman across back here and. She has a name, Uggo. Dip, dip so, the, Thank you. Sorry. That's okay. Um, Uggo, not good with names. Um, <laughs> um, I never want you to feel scared of Uggo. Aww. Uggo is supposed to be scary to people who want to hurt James and Lily and Fahima and Siv. And I feel bad when I let rage get a better of me. And I am very sorry. Aww. And I hope you will forgive Ugo. I don't. Lily slowly puts James' hand <laughs> in his hand. 
Thank oh. you. You forgive Uggo? Yes. Okay, good. Lily slowly pushes James okay. towards Uggo for a hug. <laughs> no, no, that's sufficient. Okay, sorry, Thank sorry. You. I... Uh, and again, uh, Uggo, okay, sorry. <laughs> 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 Not without some inspiration or something, because I can't roll above a ten over here. James is is seriously kind of flustered, though. I, I yeah, think, I think he didn't quite know what to do with that, and that was very surprising. Sure. So, yeah. Well, I think we should head back and talk to Diptha, and then get some rest, and then uh, head out in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I think Lee. so. You thank you, Ugo. That was beautiful. So you guys are standing out in the. You know, uh, among the tents, mm-hmm. there's a, again the campfire that you slept at the last night, and uh, you're welcome to use that again or go inside now and you know use up the last few hours of daylight before you bed down. Whatever you'd like to do. I want to question Diptha just about the care of of this phoenix because she mm-hmm. would know. Okay, so uh, yeah, well let's 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 role play that out. You Zoom wanna... fast forward. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean if that if that's if that's all you want to talk about, and she can. Articulate it beautifully. I mean, she's weak, and uh, but it's clear that she's had a lifetime of caring for creatures like this. And in fact, this particular bird uh, she recognizes, and um, it was in the Lodestar. It was uh, it was there taking sanctuary as uh, when the crash happened, when it fell out of the sky and landed in the forest. And um, in fact, it, it had a parent that it. That Diphtha is sad to say doesn't Aww. doesn't know where it, what happened to it during the chaos. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, is there any sort of uh, special instructions, or would I feed it, or just what? You can feed it what you eat. It's okay. it's a quite robust creature. Okay. Uh, well, give it care. I believe it it likes warmth, as you can tell, and it uh, it should be forming a psychic bond with you. Oh, yes. I've already started to feel that a little bit. Yeah. Uh, Take care, child. You, it's a great responsibility. These are beautiful, rare creatures. Do you think if its mother came back, it would want to take it away? Well, I believe that's a discussion you might have with the mother. It's growing fast, too, I'm sure. Uh, okay. Hmm, thank you. Uh, <clears throat> you know, you're special. You knew that, right? Uh, Do we hear this? No, this is the two of them. <laughs> in the <tent>. <laughs> 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 well, I knew that. Uh, um, I yeah, I suppose I am. I, I I think I'm special. Yeah. You're really special. You sound like my dad. <laughs> he sounds like a wise man. I don't think you know what you are yet, but when you discover it. Hold on tight. Okay. <laughs> All right. I feel a little uncomfortable, so I'm gonna leave. <laughs> Fair enough. And hey, Lily. Diffa sort of just kind of lays back in the cot and closes her eyes. Yes, I go. Um. So Torvald was talking earlier. Yes. And there were some words he said I do not know. Okay. Can you tell me what eon means? E- eon. Eon. Yeah. It's like a long time. Like how long? Eons. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And what does, actually I think I know what propulsion means. Okay, why it don't means, you give it a go? It means, uh, go fast? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> Good job, I'll go. Thanks. <laughs> Your book's getting so big. Yeah, it's five pages now. Wow. <laughs> That's so many pages. That's almost as long as a regular dictionary. <laughs> and I know it's five. <laughs> I can count. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, mommy taught me. <laughs> she sounds like a nice lady. She is a nice lady. Yeah. She's a smart lady. Do you she, miss her? Yeah. Aww. She teach Ugo to think before act. So when he not think before act, he feel bad. Well, she was right to teach you that, Ugo. Yeah. And you're a real good Person and orc. Oh, I go, don't cry. No, it's good, it's, cry. Good, it's good cry. It's good cry. It's good cry. I miss my family too. Oh. But Thank you, Lily. We're doing good things, I think. I, you know? I'm protecting family, so I know I do good. I've been working on something to honor all the people that have died because I just, I can't stop thinking about all of them, you know? Sad song? Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> but also, I think it's just, it's unfair to make it too sad because that I wouldn't want someone to sing a sad song about me. Yeah, but think of it this way. Okay. Sadness is real. You always feel it. You're not as valid. Whoa. Mommy taught me that too. Your mom was very smart. Yeah, she 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 oh she priestess. She's priestess? Yeah, she she human priestess. She she not real mommy. Oh. Raise Ugo. You choose your family. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'll go say that many times. Yeah, you're my family now, Ugo. Oh, don't cry again. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go have sister. Yeah. I'll go never had sister. I've never had a brother. Well, now we sister and brother. I have lots of sisters, and it's not always all it's cracked up to be, to be honest. Yeah. But yeah. I love them all. I don't mean to be negative. No, I don't love my brother. Why not? Because he tried to kill me. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> I think maybe one day we have talk, mm -hmm. and then we find out who... Who loves who more? But one, but one day. One day. Yeah. We'll get there. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for words. Thank you for words. Can I give me one word to add to auctionary? Auctionary. Um. How about acceptance? I know what that word is, but okay. You do? <laughs> yeah. It means to to um make family. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, you should definitely add that in there then. James has had a hell of a day. Yeah. Uh, it was only this morning that he had a nervous breakdown. <laughs> um, I think, but he uh, is taking the new book he found in his pack and finding somewhere alone, either in the woods or maybe in a tent. Yeah. And sitting down with it and looking at it a little more closely. <laughs> Very cool. Um, it's black. And when you look at the cover of it, it sort of swirls like a smoky darkness. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's very scared of it. But he can't deny that it also makes him feel more powerful. Um, but when he opens it, it's just full of, like some of the pages are ripped, uh, the writing is, is barely legible, and what you can read doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Um, and as he closes it, he thinks he hears a scream. Mm. Oh. Ominous. And, um... Do we hear he the scream? He tucks it away. No. <laughs> no, you do not. You can't hear awesome. anything, Siv. <laughs> <laughs> Siv's in another realm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, with that, everybody sort of beds down. Um, now, the amulet is your conduit to use as you, as you may. And out of it will come items, force of good or force of evil as the gods may decide. Ooh. And to layer upon that, what will happen should a force of good or a force of evil erupt from the amulet, <laughs> I don't know what it's gonna be. Literally? <laughs> you don't know what it's going to be. <laughs> what? It is going to be. What? Uh-oh. Oh! oh. What do we got? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Force of good ah. or force of evil. Yes. Nice. All right, so. Oh, so it's like a deck of many, many things. things. Yeah. We will find out. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, gosh. Should oh, that happen, we will find out. Oh, gosh. Wow. wow. That's super fancy. Yeah. And we also have uh, the, oops. The, uh, didn't read it. Uh, so, I saw that. The, uh, <laughs> the, uh, so if Mrs. I don't even know what it is. The, um, the uh, the advantage that that provides will happen uh, instantaneously as well. Uh, already, we have uh, an advantage for Meep. Oh, <laughs> for for Meep specifically. Oh, specifically. Specifically Meep. That's yeah, that cool. has uh, been bestowed well by the amulet. Uh, that comes from High Priest Shady Siba. <laughs> Shiba. Uh, so, um, and there's more where that Thank more where that came from. So you <clears throat> you. Have a a night <laughs> that is not eventful but restless. It, it, you're you're full of questions, obviously, and you're full of uh, um, ominous feelings of of what may come. But you awake in the morning. Uh, Torvald and Diftha are both still in the larger tent, but you sort of all emerge from the smaller tents. 
uh, feeling rested, rejuvenated, but uh, heavy, heavy-hearted, and uh, full of, you know, full of thoughts. And not many. We don't. <laughs> Maybe most of them. Maybe some. <laughs> some. <laughs> Couple. Thoughts. Still, he's still contemplating words. Yeah. I don't understand. <laughs> Just ping ponging around. Um, we don't know yet the direction. We still have to talk to her, right? Right. Well, she, I mean, she she has indicated through Torval and that you could probably get there pretty easily. So you kind of have a sense of where it is in the forest. Okay, so she was sort of hinting that we should just set out and use our senses to like... I think she's it. able to sort of give you a sense of, okay. of, of which direction she thinks they're in. Okay. okay. Uh, it shouldn't be too difficult to find. It's a, it's a, a, a forest that, um, that you've already kind of w- gone in one direction in and found the the uh, lodestar, and so it, it's pretty clear that it might be off in the mm. next direction. Uh, when Ugo wakes up, he, he makes sure that the necklace is still on him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You and sharing a tent with a rogue or something? It looks back at you. It doesn't like its eye being covered. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, just making sure you're here. All right. Um, Lily passes out everybody's water canteens. Everybody <laughs> remember to hydrate. We have some walking to do. Thank you so do. much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, once, once, uh, assuming we're able to free the Pegasus and sort of um, get them on our side, do we ride them straight up to this uh, this other lodestar? Oh, don't worry. I know all about Pegasus. But, but I'm saying, do we come back here? Is there more information, or we just boom off to this new place? After? Are you asking me or Torvald? Uh, Torvald, I because think. Because he's sort of still in his t- his tent with Diftha. You can peek your head in and ask him that if you like. I, I just, yeah, I, I need a little more of a plan. Well, I, I'm sorry. I, I normally would have more of a plan. If my apprentice were here, I, I'm sure he would be able to help. Uh, unfortunate situation, indeed. I'm shorthanded, and now you've brought me a, a person to fall under my care. And again, I shall do everything I can to get in contact with the natural order. I'm sure they will have suggestions as well, but it seems to me that time is of the essence. I think I I would like to trust you to go up and and find out what is going on up there. Well, is there anyone, I'm assuming we hear this. Mm -hmm. I don't know anymore, because I seem to be outside of (laughs) (laughs) That was Um, a lot of of solo things. You're like through the canvas of the tent. (laughs) (laughs) No, he sort of kicked his head out. He's, you know, you guys are all standing around the campfire, kind of getting the bud bugs out. Sure, I'll say, is there anyone from the natural order around here that we could ask for help, or someone that might be able to help guide us, or that might know what Pegasi eat, or that what they like, or something in the Sky Tower. We'll be able to communicate with the Pegasus, though. I mean, we should be able to find out simply enough, you know, if there is even a chance that they could take us up there. What? Torvald? Yeah, they speak common. Do you have any apples? That's I told what, you that's, that. what, that's what she said. Mm, apples. Or I, carrots? No carrots, or unfortunately. Salt? I have some grain and some supplies. Uh, you will really take what you f- what you can find. Right. We could we could try the grain. I mean, yeah. everybody loves a snack, right? So maybe yes. Pegasus would as well. Yeah. Answer your question. You're looking at him. Unfortunately, the natural order has followed many leads about this problem, and I am but one prong of a multi-pronged effort. Uh, we are clearly finding important things to discover. I just would like to trust you to investigate and report back to me. Well, we have the earring. Indeed. Yes. Indeed, use it. Indeed. I did. All right, let's go already. Let's go. I want to meet the Pegasus. Hey, Fahima. Will you help me talk to them? Yes, of course. Okay. Okay, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> okay. All right, so you guys kind of make your way off uh, off into the woods, and you are uh, kind of following the path that was pointed out to you by Diptha. She didn't quite know exactly where to go, so you're poking around, you're finding stuff. Um, Can I be scouting like I usually do? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, you know, you kind of make your way through the woods, uh, montage of woods <laughs> discovery and, uh, uh, you know, uh, tracking and Traversing looking at Traversing a creek, yeah. stepping <laughs> a toe on a rock. All, all of the above, all of the above. And you finally get to a clearing, uh, and uh, Siv, you're the first one to get there. Oh. And um, it's, uh, it is a, a, a big open area surrounded by trees and, um, what you see 
In the center is a bunch okay. of Pegasi. Pegasi? Pegasi. What are we going to go Pegasi. Pegasi. What are we going What are we What are we Pegasi. What are we going <laughs> What are we doing? What are we doing? Pegasus. Wow. Oh, they're big. <clears throat> yeah, they're horses. They're large. Horse eye. No, no, just horses. Horses, 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 Mm. That oh is swirled in smoke and fire, yeah. and it looks like oh, it has yes. wounds on its side, right? Mm. And it also has, surprisingly, uh, a horn coming out of its he- oh. of its head. Uh, that's interesting. Is yeah. it also black? The horn? Uh, the horn is not black. Okay, interesting. And uh, so they're sort of grazing around. It, Siv, you kind of notice that there's some deference being paid to that creature. Sure. And <laughs> does it have wings? No, it, it has not. wounds where you might where, expect wings where to wings be. Where wings were. Okay. Gosh. So can, can I, I can I give her some help on the Arcana side to give her uh, advantage if I'm assisting? Sure, but we, as of right now, my understanding is that Siv has Siv's scouted there. ahead, and You're so right. he's the only one that's sort of at Got the it. entrance okay. of this clearing. Okay. Right. If you want to give me your yeah. mini, sure. <clears throat> mini at your. Where's Mr. Whispers? He's hiding, tucked away. <laughs> there you go. He's like crawling up a leg. <laughs> so uh, they're sort of milling around. Uh, they're you know grazing. Uh, these minis are quite spectacular with yeah. w- wings mm-hmm. unfolded, but their wings are tucked in. Right. And they're sort of grazing. You see one take off and kind of eat something from the top of a tree and then land back down. Um, seem well fed. Do you want to roll perception? <laughs> yep, I'd love to. Is that a hill or a tree in the middle of the map? There? You're about to find out. Okay, got it. Sorry. Holy. Oh my God! Nine, nine. Make <clears throat> so not want metal dice. You can you can see you can see this as a sort of a, a, a pit, a, a big divot uh, in the ground, mm. uh, but you can't tell what's in it. Okay, or you can't see down so, into it. How far uh, behind it's Siv a are we? Pit. <laughs> uh, I would say you're probably about what twenty feet, thirty feet yeah, behind. Yeah, I would keep my hand up okay. so that you guys know not to come closer, uh, just so I can watch them for a little bit from stealth. Lily puts her hand in front of Algo to stealth. Oh no, no, I'll go understand. Yeah, <laughs> I'll go he's been in war before, so yep. I think he would know I'll go my hand gestures. Sorry. Okay. Oh no, no, thank you, Lily. Thank you. Nope. Yeah. yeah, of course. You're like a mom uh, in the car. So I just wanna, <laughs> I just wanna watch them, not for a long period of time, but just long enough to where I can kind of see if there's any sort of. Uh, um, like you were saying, they were they were they were giving deference to the creature. Yes. Uh, while I'm watching, is there anything else that I notice about their behavior, like you know, strange eye contact, or they're constantly rubbing up against each other, or? Um, I think with a nine roll, right. you you you're not sure. you're not getting a lot of read on the the Pegasi. Right. Go with Pegasi. Yeah. Pegasi. Sure, sure. Like Which one sounds the least weird? Pega- yeah. Pe- Pegasi. 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 I don't like that one as much. <laughs> hey, Pegasi. I like the weird one. Pegasi sounds like they're Pegasi Italian, and they good. could be Italian. Maybe yeah. that's why I like yeah. it. So, all right. Pegasi. Well, I'll, I'll take the information Sorry. that I have gathered, <laughs> and I'll stealth back to where these guys are at. Okay. So you get back to the, your teammates. These are milling around. What'd you see? There's uh, five Pegasi. And one. I thought it was Pegasi. I, I don't know. <laughs> Dark, anyway. Uh, black stallion That's that has gross. scars on its back. Stars? Where wings, yes, where wings once were, scars. I assume. Oh, scars. scars. I think you yes. said stars. No. I wish. Wounds. Got it. And it has a horn. Do the, the Pegasi don't have horns, right? Correct. Yeah. It has a horn. The others do not. Oh. And they're giving. Uh, Difference, difference. They're 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 paying uh, respects to this creature. That must be the thing that's controlling them. Oh. I think I know about this creature. What is it? 
Can I roll that Arcana check? <laughs> sure. I'm sure. gonna do it advantage. in the in the dice. Oh, do it in the box. Oh, do this one. Oh, uh, yeah, box. do this one with with uh, advantage from the yeah. honorable Radish, the 929. Nice. Woo! Again. Nice. Uh, Ugo, you feel the the that? amulet okay. sort of no, you glow and pulse. Oh, okay. yeah. Ugo, you okay? You can, yeah, I'm fine. Okay. This thing keeps roll box, roll box, roll <laughs> box, roll <laughs> box, roll. Okay, Pretty first good. one's Pretty an good. eleven. Pretty good. Pretty good. Second one. Let's do better. With... Oh, I was close to the box twenty. Plus, so close. Plus a six. Seventeen. Seventeen. That's so solid. pretty good. Yeah. Um. So it it, it sound, sounds to you, as someone who has been obsessed with all manner of creatures your whole life and read about them. Uh, you can't be sure because you haven't seen it, but it sounds to you like it might be a nightmare pegacorn. <laughs> Which sounds silly, That's but a it's hell of a fierce word. Super, super pe- uh, fierce. Peg- pegacorn? Mm-hmm. Yeah, nightmare. Is it, is it is that night, like pegacorn? Like so so what, you know, what you know, what you know <laughs> is that uh, when he said the wounds on, on its side, you know that uh, the, the, the creature known as the nightmare is, is, is not born. It is created. Oh. And it is created by a Pegasus having its wings ripped off of it. Oh. Oh. Goodness. Yeah. Are there, so, are there creatures that do that uh, to create said Pegacorns? Or is it like demons, beasts? They re, they uh, they recreate or they create each other. No, so, I, a Pegasus like wouldn't do that off? to another Pegasus. No, no. no. Like, is no. the Nightmare Corn gonna come up and like rip <laughs> the wings off? I don't. You don't know. I don't know. Okay. I don't, you are not aware of that. Kind of behavior, but it is uh, it is clear to you that that at one point this may have been a true pegacorn, a, a, a v- extremely rare beast that has uh, wings like a pegasus, but is a is it has a unicorn, a unicorn horn. horn. Wow! And you said they seem to be paying deference to it. Yes. So uh, I think I think that they are uh, charmed by it. Okay. I I would hope that if we can lure it away, this is my recommendation, if we can lure it away, slay it, and then come back to the Pegasi, uh-huh. they might have lost some of that, um, I don't know, mind control, for hmm. lack of a better term. What's uh, in my spell book for Jeff, that? I'd like to try to sneak up as close to the tree line as I can and, and uh, use Eldritch Sight to cast Detect Magic. Okay. Kind of survey the area from beneath, from under the trees as much as I can, staying hidden. Okay. Just see if there's anything else we're not seeing. Let's roll a stealth check. Okay. Um, because you're far away and yeah, there's yeah, no yeah. reason for anybody to be looking for you, but still. If you want to put me on the map, like near, yeah. the, near the trees, sure near mm-hmm. Sev. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. Uh, 14. Yeah, so you're, you sort of, uh, you know, cr- crawl or perch yourself underneath some overhanging branches where you're pretty sure you're not seen and you, you do a magical incantation. And yeah, it, it is clear that these are magical creatures. Yes. Uh, so there is. They all light up. Yes. Yeah. I'll also, but is there anything else lighting up? I'll, I'll no. point to the pit as well. You said a pit, right? Yeah, it's like a, a divot in the ground, a yeah, big I'll sort of... I'll point at that. Okay. Is there anything I, anything else I could tell about the pit from where I am? It looks like a pit. Okay. It looks like a big hole in the ground. Like 20 feet wide-ish. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Got it. I have an idea. All right. Yeah. yeah. We'll come back, yeah. Yeah. What's up? Um, well, other than the pit thing, um, should we huddle? Yeah, huddle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, so, I have this really spell. Small. Where I can create a snare, and it's almost invisible. And if if a creature walks through it, it gets hoisted up in the air. And maybe I can conjure a little baby Pegasus or something. And it's that a type over, of illusion. Maybe, oh yeah. Well, I have minor. It over. I could cast a minor illusion as well to help. That would be better because yeah. it's bigger. Yeah. All right. Yes. You cast the snare. You draw it over, and hopefully we can capture it, entangle it somehow. And if that fails, then you just shoot it. Right. Wait, I'm confused. We're going to try to ensnare the pegacorn? The lead one, yeah. Oh, all right. Good. Excellent. Wait. Or, now I don't like this idea at all. What's why it's plan B? Wait, plan C? We could always snare up a pegasus as bait. Uh, I think we should use the snare on the, on the aggressive one. Plan, plan L. 
plan out. I'll go attack and kill Nightmare. <laughs> I right, think the thing is, is if you attack, that, that's that's a great plan. But yeah. the thing is, if you attack it, yeah. they will attack you, and we want them to work for us after it's over. Well, maybe it like slave, where you kill master, they go, thank you! That's what I'm hoping. Yes. yes. But in the meantime, if you're being attacked by all these things, who's to say you wouldn't accidentally clock one in the head with I'll your I'll go mom? be fine. No, okay, so so okay. no, this is good. The snare and, and illusion idea is good. All right. So. Why don't we at least try it this way? And if it doesn't work, then you can oh, just no, run I, in and I, smash I, it. I wasn't, I wasn't trying to make convince no? you otherwise. That's I was fine. just thinking. So what do you need? Do you need any components? I just need 25 feet of rope. We've got that. I have 50. Great. Yeah, we've got Want that. Me cut it in half? Uh, no, don't cut it. I think. All right. So, um, where, where, where do we want to set it? And then, what are we going to draw it with? Well, I could do a minor illusion of itself. That's mm. super confusing. Yeah, but maybe it wouldn't necessarily mean you'd go running towards I, it. I like the idea idea of a baby. Pegasi. Yeah, right. That, it has to be smaller, right? Right. All right. Yeah, it does. But it sh surely it would be interested in something like that if it's controlling the rest of them. Yes. yes and put it on the other side of the snare so that it should hopefully okay. just walk right into it. They okay. are pretty smart, right? Yes, they might be able to. I'm tell. sure they're very intelligent. I mean, might. Torvald told us that they could understand what we were saying, but I don't think we're going to be able to talk. What is James drop darkness on nightmare? I'll go run into darkness, kill Nightmare, then drop darkness, and then they know no. But if you run into the darkness with it, you're sort of on a mutual playing field. You won't be able to see, and it won't be able to see. I'll go be fine. <laughs> I'll go. I'll go. Maybe we try like the how, first I'll go. way. I'm not sure I'll go should the be doing the plan. And then, <laughs> and then maybe you're ready to attack if needed. Okay. Okay. I. Okay. What's wrong, I'll go? You all use books and smart and know things, and I'll go has ideas, and you're all like, well, I'll go don't know things. I'll go know things. <laughs> Just doesn't know how to tell. All right, I'll go. How about this? We need to figure out what's in that pit. Okay. So, how about you be in charge of anything bad that comes out of the pit? Because I think there might be something bad down there. Okay. Yeah, not reading it. Watch on the pit. I'll go take pit. Okay. Okay. I'm really worried about it. <laughs> okay. And Lily, you let her go now. When and run in pit. Okay. 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 Did she literally just take pity on you? Uh. Hey. 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 I'm here all week, uh, everybody. We need a lot of third for dad. That's what we need. Yeah. We need a little third for dad. I warned you. <laughs> they hired me. They get me. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Danger. All right, come on. We love them. Let's uh, do this. Well, uh, did you have something, James, you wanted to ask? No, I was okay. thinking maybe, Lily, you could, um, but you're needed to, to manage the illusion, so, so I was going to think maybe one of us could circle around and try to herd the Pegasi Oops, uh, away, uh, to try to like get them, uh, you know, kind of usher them in the other direction. Maybe uh, I can try to do that. Yes. Yeah, Siv, I think maybe. Sure. I think that's a good idea, because also we don't want them to see the illusion, correct? Right. Um, yes. Yeah. We, we'd want to draw the the one, not and not all of them. May I have some of that grain? Yes. Oh yeah. Okay. Before we do this, dear gods, oh. I'll go thank you for keeping us alive, and hope that we do well. Okay. Aww. Aww. I have I have one more thing too. Yeah. Um, I have a spell that protects you against evil and good. So um. I don't know who's. Can you do need both of those at the same time? The gods said to mm -hmm. stop playing with your food. <laughs> But I'm, I'll go hungry. <laughs> Where am I putting you okay. guys? All right, what's the plan? All right, who needs protection? All right, I'm taking. Tell me the plan. I'm taking the yeah. The you sack you of, straight uh, around, around. Yes, yeah, and yeah, I'm yeah, gonna yeah, sneak good. around to here so yeah. that when, hopefully, they lure this thing away, I can lure the pegasi that away. Okay. Okay. All right. So you have the where, uh, Fahima? You have the thing. The and it's it, set up. And if things go south, I can drop darkness. Okay. And you're ready. Then and I know where, where it comes from. Where okay. should we set it up, y'all? I think kind of where I'm standing right now looks kind of good. It looks. It looks. It's further yeah. away from Pegasus. I'll go actually takes a couple okay. of steps this way it's... to shorten the distance between him and the pit. Can you sort of? Um, oh, do you want to put? Yourself He'll do so like quietly. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. So you guys are sort of setting up uh, at the tree line, yeah. where this, the edge of where this clearing starts. And you're kind of staying hidden behind the trees. Yeah. Uh, Ugo, you have kind of set yourself ready to defend the pit. Is yeah. that the idea? Yeah. Well, he's uh, gonna. Yeah. As soon as the go word is said, he's gonna run into the pit. Fahima, you are casting snare. Snare. It's okay. a five. Where, 
It's a circle with a five foot radius. Yeah, so that's one um, square. And I have to, it's touch, so I have to go up to wherever it is. Whoa. I know. Oh, that's gonna happen. But it lasts for eight hours. <laughs> Stealth. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you're gonna is that what you're going to do? But you're gonna, you can do it and then you can walk away, right? Run to yes. cast. Yeah, but they, they just can... casually walk up and cast the snare. Casually, casually walk away. <laughs> you go up, you set the snare. As soon as you do that, I will cast the minor illusion of the baby Pegasus, okay? But you run as soon as you do it. Okay. All right. Cast run made. towards where I do the illusion so it creates a, a noise. All right. Okay. Okay. So <laughs> you've got. Major armor, though. Major armor. You can you cast mage armor on yourself? That you said? Yes. Smart. Okay, it's good idea. Smart. And stealth. So as you, your hands sort of sparkle and you see sort of, everybody can see sort of like reflective things kind of cobble around you and form into a, a cool suit of, uh, you know, translucent armor. Uh, and then what'd you say? What was that the thing? I'm gonna be stealthy. <laughs> You're gonna be stealthy. All right, yeah. so uh, you luckily, uh, the, the amulet wants to help and it's uh, King God. John Allison's, uh, here, King John Allison. <laughs> and it, uh, you get uh, advantage on the, your stealth roll. Oh. Okay, cool. They say weird word. Um, uh, also, Meep is going to. Oh, but. Oh. Force of evil! <laughs> so the, 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 uh, after you sort of feel, uh, you know, a, a sense of, of, um, uh, of, in, of inspiration and, and power come over you to, to, to do stealth and you, you feel something emanating from the amulet. You also hear a strange sound and a flash of white light. And whatever this is. Oh, man. Oh, that's oh, the, isn't that force of No. Right. Is that, are we drawing or are you drawing? There, there is drawing. one. She's drawing, right? Oh, I have to draw it? Does she have to draw from the top or can we draw from <laughs> anywhere in the thing? Uh, I don't care. We can shuffle, shuffle them, them, whatever you want to do. Shuffle them. This is the first time this has happened, so your guess is as good as mine. We're doing it. We're doing it live. We're drinking. <laughs> want to do? Want to do one of these actions? I already started drinking. What do you want to do? <laughs> Don't look when you pull. As soon as she said, she "Force of evil." Five feet, go, go, go. Good. And I'm reading it, or you're reading it. Uh, you're reading it. Okay. Unless it, te- unless it tells you not to read it, which it's may. not that bad. Uh, so this, uh, so Archbishop Busy Dad. <laughs> Stop with the weird word! <laughs> that sounds uh, like an evil. I've heard lore of him on Bingle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, yes. Uh, stubbed toe. Ouch! Lose two hit points. Oh, so as you sort of <laughs> try to stealth your way there, you stub your toe, oh. and you lose two hit points. Of course. Uh, That's so rude because I'm very squishy. But does yep. it? Does it affect her stealth? Okay, so I need to roll for stealth. Oh, but she gets advantage on she stealth. She does indeed. Do. And Meep is going to enact Protective Shroud upon me. Nice. I don't, uh, what, what does that mean? Um, <laughs> well, little baby Meep goes, ha, ha, and then I have advantage against with with saving throws against spells that affect my mind. But the, the bad no, thing... No, you get advantage against all saving throws. All right, and oh. ch- check the little box in the bottom left. Oh. Yeah. All spell effects. We Ooh. all need we all need a meep. Yeah. Everyone needs a meep. <laughs> I want to call mine hammer. <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah. <laughs> on saving throws against all spells and other magical effects. Wow. Dang. But the bad side is it has to remain on me, so it's vulnerable. It has to be with you within five feet. Yeah. And it can't do anything else while it's doing that. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna hide it like that's behind a, that's my a neck. Good use though. Yeah. Um okay, so I need to roll this fracking stealth check. I'm gonna do it. Hey, hurry. Well, you need to hurry. Roll box again. Roll box. Roll box. Roll box. <laughs> roll box. Roll box. Stress me out. Be better. Ooh, okay. pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. I don't know what my modifier is off the top of my head. Yeah, you can take the first one, probably. Oh, okay. <laughs> probably. Uh, probably. 17 plus one. Eight. 18. Okay, so uh, even though as you start out, you stub your toe and it really hurts a lot, you still sort of hobble your way uh, out. Now, where do you want to place this thing? Uh, you all help me. Not with very this. far in, just a yeah. little bit, just just far enough. So meh, maybe meh. Yes. yes. Maybe okay. within range of the pit in case it goes south and yeah, we that's, get yeah, close. that's all it good. Is. That's it good. Is. Yeah. Okay. I knew taking this Indiana Jones spell would be useful. <laughs> so luckily, the um, you see that one of you know one of the the Pegasi kind of sees you and is it kind of turns its head curiously and looks at you, <laughs> but then kind of turns back and doesn't really pay any attention. Oh. Luckily, the. The nightmare is uh, some, kind of wandering around, not doing that, you know, not paying attention to you as you do that, and you sort of creep back. 
back out. Heck yes, there's no verbal component to this spell either. Oh, nice. Luckily, I was like, oh god. So <laughs> you, what you did, you know, you stubbed your toe, you walked out, you sort of conjured something. There was uh, the the rope sort of spun itself and sort of swirled with magic and became a circular little trap that sits there in a five foot radius. And the Pegasus is like, <laughs> what's going on? But it's invisible now. Right. Uh, well, it, it can roll uh, if it wants to an investigation check to see if it's there. I don't think the it's just, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't think the Pegasus is worried about you. No, nope. Lee is well, actively waiting to cast Minor Illusion. <laughs> with lots of fuel in her veins. So you've readied a magic uh, yeah, Minor yeah. Illusion. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So now what? Uh, Siv, you walked wandered around here, right? Yes. And I have uh, I don't have any weapons out or anything. I'm just being stealthy. I have the sack with the grain, and I'm going to take out a little bit of the grain, and I'm just waiting for them <laughs> to do whatever it is that they're going to do. I love the over grain. On the other I side, the so grain. that I can pop out and immediately try to, you know. Okay. Uh, seeing the Pegasus see Fahima and and move away, uh, James is going to take a hunch and use Awakened Mind in Celestial. I think I can do that. Maybe not. I mean, I just, so I say to the Pegasus, we are friends. <laughs> we are here to oh help you. Oh my God. Which Pegasus? The, the one that the one saw that us saw and walked uh, away. Yeah. You know the face you made at me when I wanted to feed the shadow? <laughs> <laughs> That's the face I'm making at you right now. She, she saw you and didn't do anything. <laughs> so I'm saying we are friends. Mm -hmm. This, it, 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 we, are here, we are here to help you. It turns and it starts. Uh, kind of sniffing around, looking around. Okay. Uh, it's it's kind of wandering over here. Okay. Uh, it's getting kind of close to yeah. the snare. Okay. Um, oh, shoot. Minor illusion. I okay. Guess time. <sighs> Lily casts minor illusion of a baby Pegasus. A baby pig. Now, where do you want to place that? It's right in front of the snare. Behind. Well, put it. Oh, behind, behind the yeah. snare. Sorry. Behind yeah, 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 yeah. Behind. So right in front of me, behind the snare. Yeah. Uh, okay. So it's right here. This is the baby Pegasus illusion. Yeah, yeah. All right, so and my. It's got kind of a weak little wing, and it's like. <laughs> and James is continuing to so talk it's a sick to baby Pegasus. <laughs> James is continuing to talk to the other Pegasus. I said, pay no attention to that. <laughs> 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 this Pegasus sort of flies up into the air mm. and kind of looks down and spots all of you. <laughs> oh my! Mm -hmm. So it's sort of hovering in the air We're above everybody. We didn't right even now. need a deck of cards. To <laughs> yeah. Bad stuff to have. Uh, so, so there's a baby Pegasus easy, now. <laughs> This this baby Pegasus and uh, you, you can't minor illusion can't create a magical item. No, right. So uh, well, I think the, it looks like a baby Pegasus, but it sort of has a weird glow. It's like um, like in Star Wars when you see a uh, a hol you know a it's hologram? like yeah, help yeah, me Obi Wan yeah, Kenobi yeah. you're my only hope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Help me Obi Wan. You know it's like it's a baby Pegasus, but it's like you know it's not really fooling this. It's just a cantrip. So it's this a thing. Low quality CGI Pegasus. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, so it's it, this this like thing Tron. is super curious about. About what's going on, uh, and then uh, the the nightmare kind of turns and kind of screeches in a, a noise that you have never heard before, right? It is like a, and it's like it is high pitched and awful, Whoa. and it pierces your ears. And this thing flies back down and lands here and Whoa. kind of uh, stays. So it screeched oh. at the Pegasus. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'll go. Took that as go word. So. Oh boy. Yeah. It's on. Yeah. Uh, we rolling into the pit. We rolling. Pit. Oh, you're going into the pit. <laughs> yeah. Are we rolling initiative? Is this like you're, you're attacking? I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm, he's. Oh man. Running into the pit. Okay. Uh oh. He's waiting until he sees what's in pit before he decides. So move. How how many feet is it to pit? Uh, five, ten, fifteen, yeah, twenty. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So he runs and jumps. So into you the pit. leap into the yep. pit and you. <laughs> leap? Uh, well, leap. I, I don't want to just be like. Argh! Okay. Yeah. Uh, more of a like. <laughs> He's trying to, if the pit dips, he's trying to get there quickly so they yeah. can't see. Okay, so you run toward the pit, charge the right. pit, slide on the dirt into the pit, and you're, you're at the bottom of the pit and readied. And this guy turns and goes, mm, he just notices you, yeah. and the fire in the back of its neck kind of yeah. expands and, and smoke billows out. And these uh, pegasi all kind of get fl flustered and fly up into the air, and it is angry and roll initiative. Wow, oh, the snare has not worked at all. <laughs> Maybe not, it's still there though. Yeah. It's still make use of it. It's there for hours nice. to have nice <laughs> Finally. Oh my, oh, 19. we got an awesome, awesome 
meow, 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 I got meow, on initiative. Cool. On initiative, you know, hey, why not? It's helpful. Mm -hmm. It'll help. Okay, so you got a 19, Siv? Yeah. Uh, Fahima. Two. Two. James. A heroic six. All right, I'll go. 18. Lily. 23. Oh. All right. Wow, Lily's ready. So, Ugo has, uh, uh, you all stand there and you see Ugo run and as, as uh, Lily sort of created a baby. a baby little thing that, you know, was kind of glowing and doesn't look exactly like a perfect living creature. It was a great Trying idea. It best. was a great I'm idea. Yeah. Raging orc injured Pegasus baby. Yeah. <laughs> what are you going to go for? And the, uh, the orc, uh, you know, your friend Ugo charges off and he kind of disappears down into the bottom of the pit. You all go, huh? Uh -oh. It's how, on. How deep is the pit, by the way? It's. Uh, Do we see his head when he jumped down the No, he kind of disappeared into it. It's. It's. It's pretty. I would say, not quite ten feet, but okay. close. Okay. You know, it's. A, it's a big divot. Um, oh boy. And so, Lily, you're up. Let me roll. And there's no like threat in the pit when I'm in there that uh, I can see. That's correct. Cool. I still don't feel good about this pit. Nope. You told me to go in the pit. I said to guard the pit. Oh. In case anything bad came out. So Lily, you're up. Okay, so I um I see Ugo out of the corner of my eye running into the pit and I go, no, oh, Ugo! Um and how far away is that from me where Lily's standing? Uh yeah, it's about, you know, 25, 10, 15, 20, 25 feet. Um so I um so all of the horses, or the Pegasus, or look, Pegasi, Pe Pegasi, <laughs> are looking at, we'll land on one eventually. at the pit. Uh, no, they, some some of them have kind of flown up into the air. There's, yeah, a, it's, like, it they're, is, they're flustered. It's, it's like somebody like, threw a bomb, right? So there's, yeah, a, there's, yeah, a, yeah, there's yeah, chaos. Yeah. Okay. There's feathers. Yeah. You know, there's uh, the um, the nightmare is sort of turned, and its attention is on the pit. It is uh, has alar is alarmed, right? <sighs> okay, so I. I kind of I freak out and I I'm gonna cast fairy fire on the um, nightmare. I'm gonna I'm gonna move. I just don't want it to hit Ugo, so I want to move so because it it uh, casts a 20 foot cube, so I want to get it onto the nightmare. But, okay. Uh, but what's the range yeah, what's on the it range besides on the, the cube? cube? Um, uh, 60 feet. Oh, so, so yeah. You're, oh, you're fine where you are. Yeah, you okay, just, but I just don't want it to hit Ugo. Yeah, no, so no, you're fine. fine. You can place it okay. right on top. It of. itself is 20, and then great, yeah, great, great. but it's okay. So feet. I'm gonna cast fairy fire onto the the nice. nightmare corn. What color? Okay. <laughs> um, it's gonna be violet. Yeah. Or lily, yeah. you might say. Oh! Yeah. That is a super goth nightmare. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah. As if it wasn't scary enough. I know. <laughs> I mean, now it's purple. Uh, so I need to roll a uh, wisdom nice. save, is that right? Uh, uh, so that's a dexterity save. Oh, dexterity right. save, like okay. Trapper keeper stuff from the lock. Uh, 17 yeah. probably yeah. saves, right? 17. Um, I'm forgetting. 17 saves? Lisa Frank. Uh, yes. Like Lisa yeah. Frank. So I do yes. take half damage? <laughs> She's a Lisa Frank trapper I'm keeper. To see here, sorry. <laughs> Cover. Nightmare corn. Uh, any creature in the area when the spell is cast also outlined the, if the, if in light, if it fails a dexterity saving throw for the duration, um, objects and affected creatures shed a dim light in a 10 foot radius. So, so it's still just, shedding it's light. still shedding light. It's just a, a dimmer okay. light. Um, any attack roll against the affected creature or object has advantage nice. if the attacker can see it. Um, and the affected creature or object can't be it can't benefit from being invisible. That's right, dumb. but it, we it, it beat the save, so it it oh. it is oh. just a reduced amount of light. Yeah. Is that the idea? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So but we can still see. But it's anything? no, I think we still get advantage because yeah. we can it still see it. it. We're in advantage. daylight. Yeah. We're not in it just, a cave. It just yeah. Well, the affected creature. I would just let me look. Your cave. Here, I have the the card for you. Want it? Yeah. I have these really handy little cards. Oh, nice. So. <laughs> well, it's not affected, so it's not considered an affected creature. Right, that's what I was thinking. Okay. Yeah. Any attack roll against an affected creature. Right, so it beat the no. save, so it's not affected. Yeah, because otherwise, Fairy Fire is a oh, spell so everyone should <laughs> yeah. right. it's going to take a wizard. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, fine. But it's still going to be All right. Of, of purple lily light. Yep. Purple lily light. That'd be terrifying. Right that would back be terrifying. 17 was... <laughs> Saved, right? Yeah. What's that? 17. No. Yes, yeah. yeah, of your saves, which are... 14. Uh, yeah, probably. All right, so um, are you are you moving, Lily? Are you doing anything else? 
Spell save. Uh, yeah, 14. Yeah, 14. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Are you, are you uh, no, and then, so I did that, and then I'm just going to run to kind of get closer to Uggo behind him. So okay. kind of run to the side there. Yeah. Uh, but it's still at the edge of the pit? Yeah. Okay. To kind of see if I can see him. Yeah. Siv, you're up. Oh, by the way, is is your uh, illusion gone? Yeah, it's yeah, okay. gone. The, the, the wounded the baby, baby Pegasus, Pegasus is no more. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Sorry for the confusion on fairy okay. All right. Yeah. So, God, I don't understand what you guys are doing. Um... Neither yeah, are our are, um, yeah, what you saw across the way I'm is like there with the, grain in the, my hand, like yeah. <laughs> you saw the plan begin. Great, you know, you saw Fahima sort of walk out, stub her toe, but she's like he put down a trap, and then you saw a little illusion thing, and then you saw Ugo run straight at you and disappear into the bottom of the pit. And the unit and the the nightmare gets pissed off and looks like it's gonna be aggressive. Correct. <sighs> um. Hold. No, I don't want one of. I don't want these creatures to get away. That's the thing. Is <clears throat> I'm gonna. This is just pure insanity. I'm gonna run. I mean, and do it. I drop the grain. I'm gonna run, jump, and try to jump on top of this. Yes. I guess this <laughs> and grab onto it. Okay. Holy. I do know how to ride. I do have animal handling. I don't want to spook this thing. But yeah. I also don't want it to just fly off. Well, this is an athletics check, uh, so we're gonna see if you just you can even grab onto it. Or acrobatics? No, it could be acrobatics. Yeah, your choice. Take it. Well, I'll definitely <laughs> yeah. take it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, you're right. That's a good What's suggestion. Some jumping and Thank flipping. Thank you, yeah. Morgan. <laughs> Slash James. <laughs> oh my God! Wow. You gotta get new dice, bro. Wow. Uh, you know what? You using those metal? How bad? How bad? It doesn't get oh, any worse. Nobody's got. Yeah, you got nothing. You got no help from the end. Oh. You got no help from the end. Oh. Um, how bad does it go? <laughs> I just fly. What right did you? Past it. What did you? Yeah. What did you? You one. rolled a one. Oh, oh boy. Yeah. So uh, as you sort of emerge from the thing, you're kind of at full speed, and this Pegasus sees a, a, a cat person <laughs> running at it yeah. with bits of grain falling out of his hand yeah. as he's charging at it, and it literally just like moves very, very small amount to the yeah. side. It just sort of <laughs> takes a half step as you Dust. careen right past it and land face oh, down in no. the dirt. No! Oh. Yeah. You're prone. Okay. Dude, you're prone right next to the night corn. Yeah, I'm, I'm aware. <laughs> <laughs> not great, not great. And that brings us to Ugo. This is going okay. great. So there's no immediate threat in the pit, right? Correct, Nothing? that you have seen. Cool. Um, <laughs> I oh, can, can... So is the night... Mare corn, <laughs> nightmare, nightmare pegacorn. Uh, <laughs> is it? I said it. <laughs> I made it. Yeah, it's great. That's I what it is. It. Dude, I freaking love it. Okay. I love it, man. I, especially the fact that it's created. That's the part that I love. <laughs> so, is it tall enough that I can see it? Uh, uh, yeah, you can yeah, see. I, I mean, can you, see if it. you don't see it, you definitely yeah. see the smoke and fire yeah. that is emanating so, from it. Uh, You're pretty tall. I'm aggressive. So, as a bonus action. I can move my speed towards it. Yeah. In addition, I can move my normal speed. Okay. I want to do all of that. And still have an action. It, yeah. And also try to intimidate it as I do so. so okay. <laughs> come in and. Okay. So uh, you have an advantage. Uh, the the amulet glows with uh, with in the the name the god <laughs> branded nerd is in your head. <laughs> branded nerd. <laughs> Okay, so here's the thing. Climbing up out of the pit is going to be uh, difficult terrain. Cool. Okay, so it's it's Fine. loose dirt. You're kind of getting up, but I don't think it's going to stop you anyway because yeah. you have plenty of speed to yeah. get up it. Sixty. Uh, it's sixty feet total. Yeah, yeah. So you 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 kind of make it up out of there. Now you said you wanted to try to intimidate it. So as well. while with this with the swing and the rage, bring it down and try to, you know, intimidate, make it flee. Okay. Is it you know? Uh, right. And I'll even. I'll speak in deep speech as I'm doing it. All right, nice. Yeah. What are you gonna say? Uh, in deep speech, he will. Uh, or I'll go. Will say, um, I will eat your entrails. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So glad I don't understand. <laughs> you you sense recognition in the eye of the nightmare pega Cool. Great. Oh, I was. I understand. Ron was hoping so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, I'm gonna, you know what? I have. If you want. I'm gonna use the dice. Roll box, roll box, roll box, roll yeah. box. Yeah. Roll yeah. box. Yeah. Roll yeah. Okay. I feel like so. I'm the only one chanting. <laughs> roll box, roll, roll, roll box. box. Just I, would, I, would I would chant roll if I could roll box. above its head. I would chant. Who is right the roll? I gotta use the roll box. I'm gonna start using the roll box for everything. Branded nerd. Branded nerd. 
14 good. on the first Pretty one. Good. Nice, nice. 15 Ooh. on the second one. All right. Thanks, so Brandon the intimidation nice. there is 18. Wow. Okay, so um, th this is rolling for intimidation. Yes, Okay. just the intimidation, yes. Right. So as, as part of the attack. Right. Yeah. Uh, you uh, you you run up to it and fully enraged. You tell it about its entrails, and there's a connection. There's a fleeting moment where your eyes connect, and you see its eyes smoldering and burning with fire, and it looks you dead in the eye, and it does not back down. Cool. Wow. Uh, Worthy opponent. <laughs> so he will attack. Okay. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, that is a. Meanwhile, the Pegasi, Pegasi, Pegasi are all going. Wee! <laughs> <laughs> like out. They're saying we. Seventeen. Yeah, yeah I'm not going to do. Right. Lily's getting slightly distracted looking at them. Because she's <laughs> never <laughs> seventeen. Pegasi. Seventeen. That's a hit. Cool. Uh, I am raging. So now. Rage. Rage. <laughs> you are rage. Uh, that's. Nine. Nine points of damage? Yep. All right. So uh, you make eye contact with it. Its eyes are smoldering. It stares you directly in the face, and you take a sideways swing with your your uh, your hammer, and it you smack it in the side of the face, and it goes... <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like a tooth comes out, you know, like burning, fire, smoke trailing it, but it kind of looks back at you, and it is furious. Oh, boy. All right. So uh, that also, brings us... Uh, Human and orc barbarian Sweet. guardians yeah. swirling yes. in. Mm. They They're come. always hanging out. Yeah. They call okay. the line. Uh, it is actually the nightmare's turn. Let's see what this thing does. Uh, so it is going to <laughs> do uh, do two things. It's going to kind of rear up on its hind legs and hit you with a with a, uh, a hoof attack. Okay. And also, it, as it lands, it's going to do a second attack with its back hooves and try to sort of sm smush uh, Siv's oh, awesome. arm or face oh, on the ground. Man. So let's see how that's going to go. And guess what? Limber. He's got dis he's got disadvantage on the attack against Siv. Okay. Right. Um, but. Unfortunately, your your <laughs> your amulet glows, and uh, better than Jebus is the <laughs> god that screams out, "Help!" And uh, it's just a regular roll. Okay, because okay. um, okay. it cancels out. Right. Yeah. All right. So we got. Ooh, that's a. That's a twenty-two. Against Elgo. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Against Elgo, and this yeah. one's a, yeah. a sieve. Uh, that is a sixteen. Yep. Hits. Oof. Okay. So. Oof. We got for the damage, Siv. Oh, okay. So, uh, cool. Thank you. Yep. That ancestral guardians thing. Oh, that's a one. Is nice. A seven. So eight points of damage to you. Got it. Also resisted. Uh, yeah. Rage. Also, it, what oh, is type, it bludgeoning damage? Uh, it is um, melee weapon attack. With hooves. Yeah, hooves. Yeah, bludgeoning. Yes, okay. bludgeoning. Yeah. Uh, Resistance. Uh, Okay, and that is eight points of damage against you. Okay, thank you. Also, yeah. Mm. Okay, uh, and then also, sorry, hang on. Oh, come on, roll into the box, Jeff. You each get six points of fire damage uh, added on top of it. Oh Ouch! So as the hoof, uh, oh, it rears up and right. smacks a hoof on right in your face, uh, Ugo, and you feel it, it sort of burn and sear into you, and then it comes down and it kicks back, and it lands on your shoulder as you kind of were sliding into sure. the ground, and you feel that same sort of searing burn, and there's like a black hoof print on your arm where it left a mark. All right, so we are up to James. Got it. Um, <coughs> I'm going to, being very careful of the snare trap still on the ground. Yes. Um, I'm going to take a few steps into the grove. <coughs> okay. Um, I'm still within 60 feet of it, yes? Yeah. I have line of sight. Yeah. Um, I'm going to use my action to cast Toll the Dead, so make a wisdom saving throw on the Nightmare Peccacorn, please. Uh, oh, yes, wisdom saving throw, yes. Uh, 19. Damn, all right, that misses. Um, and then I'm going to see these other two. Are they, are they flying or are they on the ground next to me, the other two Pegasus? Uh, these two are flying. Okay. These two are flying, and th these three are sort of uh, 
uh, alerted and freaking out. Okay, um, I'm going to call out in Celestial, we are your friends, we're here to help. That's, yeah, but, and okay. see, I'll see what happens. Nice. <clears throat> All right. Um, <laughs> All right, so now we're up to uh, the Pegasi. Now, they're, uh, they are uh, frantic. You kind of see wings flapping. They're making noises. They're kind of, t- kind of looking at each other and freaking out. Uh, this one's going to come down and sort of like check on what's happening down here. These two are, are uh, hovering and looking, and this one kind of takes flight as well and is flying up above the fray. This one's going to fly over and kind of check out what's happening over here. They're, they're not actively attacking or looking. They're just sort of trying to gain their bearings and figure out what's happening. Okay. <coughs> All right, so that's a Fahima's turn now. Okay. I'm gonna do something that Fahima thinks is heroic, but I think is very stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the club. Yeah, Welcome yeah. to the club. <laughs> club. Uh, to the club. <laughs> Chaotic good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so I see this this Nightmare Roski hitting my friends, mm-hmm. and so I'm gonna walk up to right behind the snare. Yeah. And I'm gonna go. <whistles> Want a carrot? Want a carrot? Run <laughs> <laughs> over. Uh, there's two that are flying above here. This one's sort of low, and there's one flying up here. Which to, to specifically at the to this the one? Nightmare. No, no, the nightmare. Oh, at the nightmare? Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> you can, can do to direct that to it. If you want to try animal handling, persuasion, or I mean, it's a fiend. <laughs> it's not exactly an animal, so um, persuasion. You can try persuasion. Yeah, it's intelligent, right? It is. Mm-hmm. It understands common. I mean, it understands the only deep thing that makes sense. I guess yeah, I'll, I'll address it by whatever I think it would like to be called. Uh, okay, persuasion. <laughs> yeah, charisma is not my high. Au contraire. Okay, uh, ten. Yeah, uh, it doesn't even notice you're talking at this point. It, you know, you kind of walk out. It's it's stamped on your, a couple of your friends, and it is burning and and smoldering. And you go out and go, ha, 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 and it, it it doesn't even acknowledge that it hears you. Um. Okay. Well, I have a bonus action left. What what kind of things can I do with my bonus action to like? Do well, do you have any bonus action I mean, skills? Well, like, yeah. like talking, like, isn't like a regular bonus action just kind of like talking or like? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, you can. Yeah, like minor action. You can just say whatever you want to say. Um. Well, I guess I'll just say try to lure it over here. <laughs> okay. So you kind of call out to your compatriots to try to lure it over there, uh, and that is your turn. So we're back to the top of the round. That would be Lily. Okay. Um. So Lily, here's this. And also thinks this is a super heroic idea. <laughs> so she's like, on it! Um, and I, I scurry over to where she is, and I, I put myself in front of, not on the thing, but in front of her. And um, I'm going to pull out my flute and mm-hmm. attempt to also charm this thing over here. Okay, so, so you walk over to Fahima, you yeah. said? Okay. And I say, excuse me, th- uh, unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> Over here! We've got food. We're f- fun. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to roll a you know, charisma check, fun. persuasion check, perhaps? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. We need to be rolling the persuasion check. <laughs> yeah, she's got she's got charisma to spare. Okay, Ooh, uh, so 19 plus 8. Whoa! Oh, wow. So 28. <laughs> 20, okay. 27. So, 27. Yeah. Can't do math. Yeah. Right. So that's that's the right. highest number I've heard this entire time. Wow. Episode. The nightmare? Peck of corn? <laughs> Thank you. Sorry. Sorry, I called you a unicorn. If this works. <laughs> no, notices you. Definitely notices you. It, it perks up, it looks, its eyes are still smoldering. It's got a mane of fire uh, that is uh, terrifying. There's smoke billowing out, and you're sort of bravely just playing your flute and looking at it, and it looks at you, and it makes eye contact. Okay, okay. Uh, so, uh, Siv, you're up. All right, do I, s- uh, I don't know if I see this or not, do I see all the things that they're doing to try to lure it over that way? I mean, you heard her yell out, hey, okay. get her over here. So, We're fun. <laughs> Mister, my whistle. Yeah, yeah, you heard her. The, the unmistakable whistle of Fahima Tai. Yes. Always wanting, always wanting to feed the champion evil whistler of the lands. All right. So I'm going to use my uh, my cunning action to uh, roll past this thing. <laughs> I love it. And you just then got stamped, I'm, and now right. you're like. So as roll I roll it. past it, I'd like to pop up, and I'd like to 
swipe it okay. with my rapier. Okay. And then uh, as my racial ability, which I have never used, um, <laughs> I'm going to use, after I attack it, I'm going to continue running that direction. Yeah. Great. Yes. So uh, even though you were you know, sort of down in the dirt and something stamped on you, you make a beautiful little roll. <laughs> and you, let's see if your attack hits. Yeah, let's see. Come on, rapier. I'm going to... Uh, that might hit. Uh, nine plus six is fifteen. That hits. Sweet. Yeah. Uh, Stab that now because horse. The, <laughs> now is that, Stab that horse. Does that, does that, that count horse. as an enemy? This Pegasus. Uh, if you want to attack it. No, no. I'm saying, is it an enemy? Because if it's not, then I get sneak attack. If it is. If oh it is no, it is not aggressive to you yet. Okay, great. Yeah. Oh right. Uggo's engaged with it, though, right? It kicked. Yeah, and Uggo's engaged with it, so it doesn't matter. Oh, right? it doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay. So twelve uh, plus three is fifteen. Plus two is seventeen. Oof. Nice. 17 points of damage. Oh. Yeah, and then I'm going to use my cat-like speed and run <laughs> and jump past this trap thing. All right. Continuing to uh, dare touch it. heckle it. It's invisible, but you remember where it was, and you made a leap that was <laughs> much bigger than it needed to be, just to be sure. I mean, so I you're could like, go to the other side of the board. Yeah, I know. You're, right you're flippity now. flippers. Uh, all right, so that brings us to Uggo. Over here, Uggo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 rage in his eyes. <laughs> Stop everything. Uh -oh. A force of good. Ooh. Thank God. Who shall uh, pull it? You guys want to decide? Oh, Who shall hmm. pull, pull the I'll force go of good? Oh, yeah. I'll Let I'll go. It's Ugo's turn. turn. Yeah. Or, or goes, uh, Ugo's kind of a force of good. What weird word God should Ugo scream? <laughs> <laughs> so the, uh, the amulet pulses, flashes with light, and something falls out of it. Woo! What is the Ooh, thing going to be that falls out of it? I don't know. Who knows? Making if only I would pull a card, we would all find out. <clears throat> it's upside down. Dirt. <laughs> it's dirt. I mean, yeah, but not just any dirt. Magical dirt? This is a handful of nutrient-rich dirt. If you rub it on your wounds, regain two hit points. Oh! Wow. Okay. So that's from Bar Jacob Lee. Rub a little mud on Jacob Lee. Thank you, God Jacob Lee. Thank you, God Jacob Lee. We're gonna All have right. to like, scale these up um, the higher we level. Cause... Cool. <laughs> Good, point. Um, yeah. <laughs> Good point. Yeah. Good point. Yes. Go, there's a, go, yeah, there's a variety of range of power in there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're thankful for the dirt. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the dirt. Uh, Ogo is in the midst of his rage against a worthy opponent. I don't think he can hear anybody. Really? Yeah. Well, but Nightmare looked. Yeah. Like yeah, he so looked away from did. ice. Yeah, and it, I play my flute. Made okay. eye contact okay. with uh, okay. Lily. Yeah, yeah. If, he makes eye Lily. if he makes eye contact with Lily, then. Uh, 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 um, can I ready an action? Of course. I'm going to keep it at threat range. Yeah. But if that thing moves, yeah. it's getting hit. Okay. Well, but do you want it to move to run towards us? Uh, well, even if it moves, I still want it. Well, mm, yeah. If it doesn't leave. My <laughs> if, it doesn't, if it doesn't not move, okay. yes, yeah, 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 that makes sense. If it if it stays where it is and it, and attempts to attack me, that's when I'll. Okay, good. Okay, so that's got it. I'll so you ready in action? Yep. yep. Nice. Uh, we are up to the nightmare's turn. Uh, Here we go. You see, <laughs> the sort of. Uh, I'll go. You have a close up view of this. Yeah. You see the, the the very fabric of the air sort of shimmer and then, and it. Disappears. Oh, hell no. Do I awesome. still get the attack? Mm -hmm. Technically, no. that. Oh, damn. <laughs> I would get 50 50, but okay. I'd, I mean, it, give it. it literally yeah. popped out of existence. <laughs> it's not like you Misty step, you don't get the opportunity to yeah. step, so. Uh, Are we still it has, in well, but it, I was readying an action specifically for that. It's the only reason I was asking. But I'm, I'm fine with it. I'm fine. Well, you. I think it. I think you were bringing an action. If it, you said if it stays if in it fight. Stays, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fair. So it yeah. popped out of existence. It, 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 it yeah. Technically, did not stay. Uh, as, as a sort of, you, you saw in a split second, you saw like uh, the fabric of reality open up, and you can see something horrible, some dark and mysterious yeah. behind that, cool. and it, it mm -hmm. left. Oh, uh, I'll go. Still goes. Lord. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh. It's so, Are we out of combat? Everything is a little calm for a moment. Uh. Uh. Uh, these pega, these these pegasuses are still flying up here. This one is still flying up here. This one is kind of looking at Uggo. It just watched a sieve do an amazing roll and leave. They are there's a, a a weird eerie moment of calm. You just saw this violence break out, and then everything 
it popped out of existence, okay. and everything's calm for a brief moment. So, um, could I tell whether it, like, because what you were just describing sounds like it just completely, like, went to another place? Yes. Okay, so I, it's that, it's not that it went invisible. Correct. Um, well, that's what it seems like to That's you. what it seems like. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna tell everyone to freeze, <clears throat> and I'm going to cast Detect Thoughts, because Detect Thoughts can be used to find the location of thinking creatures that I can't see uh, within 30 feet. Okay. So basically, I'm gonna cast Detect Thoughts, mm -hmm. and I'm not gonna look at my friends, because I'm pretty sure they wouldn't like that. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to basically be scanning the trees, scanning the right. grove, seeing if it's around. I'll look you, down into the pit, I'll look everywhere. Yeah, you don't get any reading, it's as if it left this plane. All right, it's gone. Oh. I don't know where or how far or how long, but it is not here uh, right now. So we're gonna step through this. Uh, so that was James going. Oh, okay. uh, these two Pegasi that were flying up here uh, see that it, it leaves and they just le <gasps> fly away. Oh no! Oh man. Oh no. Do we see that? Yeah. I am bolting for the closest Pegasi, Pegasus near me. Are we still in order? Yeah, we're in order, so oh, let's sorry. not do that yet. So uh, next up is Fahima. Uh, which is exactly what I was going to do, okay. too. Go for it. Don't run over that snare. Do you want, here, I'm holding out the grain. <laughs> the grain? Uh, <laughs> you know? I'm just looking at you like, the oh, grain? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll take the, the grain and, um, yeah, I'll run around to the Pegasus and Try to hop on. <laughs> yeah, if you want to try to Say hop on, you can. First. But the, yeah, these are you know these are very intelligent creatures. <laughs> Sorry, that yeah, they can speak common. They can speak. Yeah, they can. they can understand what they do. Understand. Okay. Understand. okay. Um, this one again is sort of hovering here. Then you know what? I'm actually gonna move to the other side of the snare. I'm not gonna run towards the Pegasus. Okay. I wanna just kinda surround the snare. Okay. Um, and then I will attempt to speak to the Pegasus. Okay. And I'll say, um, um, we're here to take you back to the sky where you belong. It looks at you, turns its head, and it looks back at its friend, and it looks back at where the the nightmare blinked out of existence. And it looks at you, and it ruffles its feathers. Uh, so we're back top of the round. Siv, no, excuse me, no, uh, Lily. Lily, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Point of order. I'm so sorry. Does the uh, uh, the nightmare pegacorn does have an intelligence higher than three? Right. Oh yes. Okay. Cool. 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 <laughs> or and does it speak any languages? Yes, it well, speaks. Both, uh, great. Yeah. Okay, cool. It speaks common yeah. and infernal. Then, then detect thoughts all works. Indeed so, speech. just making sure. Indeed speech. Sorry. Indeed speech. James, you have a an advantage on your next roll thank from you. the amulet. Ah, oh, thank uh, you. Rock Falls is the Rock Falls. The, uh, the god that Rock? bestowed thank upon you. Thank you, Lord Rock Falls, or Lady, or Lady Rock Falls, or mm -hmm. non-gendered Rock Falls. <laughs> Any Rock Falls. Any Rock Falls. Thank you. Okay, so Lily um, is has been playing the flute. And just cautiously lowers it down. Okay. Um, Siv, are you all right? No, my arm is quite badly wounded, uh, bruised, burned. Um, but I'm a, a little more concerned about losing these pegasi. Well, let me cure your wounds really quick. I sure. All right. So I'll touch uh, Siv, and uh, I'll cast cure wounds. Oh. Um, uh, 1d8. Do you want to roll? Oh, sure. Plus three. Plus, yeah. All right, so next Plus up three. would be me. Siv, having just healed a bit. That's going to give me a little bit more courage. Yeah, your <laughs> arm, the way sort of where, where the burn mark is, yeah. you see it sort you of four. fade and become Thank more, you. the fur there kind of grows back slightly. I'm I'm going to just start limping. Well, I'm not limping, but I'm slowly, cautiously moving towards the closest Pegasus with the grain sack out and say, we don't mean you any harm. Mm -hmm. We came seeking your help. We need to get up into the sky tower 
the, um, what is it called? Lodestar. Lodestar, Lodestar Sam. Mm. Thank you. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> uh, if you please, if you could help us, I'm, I'm sure it will be worth your while. So it, it sort of lowers its head to you and looks at you and then looks back to where the, the nightmare uh, uh, disappeared and then it turns back to you and it sort of has fear in its eyes. Mm. We will do whatever we can to protect you. So next up is Ugo. Ugo takes the dirt, rubs it on himself. Um, I'm looking at you incredulously. Ugo does not know that word. <laughs> <laughs> Rub a little um, dirt on it. <laughs> Ago is going to move 10 feet uh, towards the rest of the group. Okay. And readying an action that if that nightmare appears again, it's I'm charging it. Okay. Yep. Uh, so we are up to, yes, speaking of which. Uh, oh boy. You see that familiar sort of shimmer again and there's a, like a blackness that kind of parts, and it is right in front of Lily. Uh, <gasps> exactly, it, 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 it appears as if it wants you. Where the snare is on the ground? Where the snare is. Oh. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> and as, as soon as that happens, the snare goes off, and uh, the magical rope that's invisible that's sitting there kind of closes around all four of its legs and hoists it upside down. It has and, to make a deck saving throw. Yes. It can, it can resist it, unfortunately. Come on, come on. 15? <laughs> mm. 14 is no. easy. Well, I, I tried to help. Oh, that old, old rules lawyer over here. Yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, so it, it, the, the, uh, the, uh, it appears the, the uh, rope tries to go around its legs and it sort of steps out of it and it stares directly at. Is it within charging range? For you, certainly. Does my ready to action go off? Yes, indeed. Perfect. Oh, nice. That didn't work. I'm going to be reckless. Yeah. That didn't work. It always worked for my dad, it didn't work for me. All right. Uh, does a 21 hit? Yeah. yeah okay. So, Girl, Ugo, you know what does. Ugo's approach. Uh, Ugo's on it from yeah. the back, yeah. Hey, I, maybe that nightmare teleport gave yeah. it ma more yeah, AC, don't I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Ron knows, but Ugo <laughs> don't know. <laughs> oh yeah, you have advantage on this from uh, Master on Nightstone. Uh, okay. Just I, take it, see if you cool. get the 20. Yeah, I'm gonna try. Nope, it was not bad, <laughs> but thank you. Thank, thank you, Nightstone. Yeah. But I did roll one less than max damage, so that's going to be a 16. All right. Nice. So it is uh, It is very hurt. Uh, and again, more of the Guardians. Sure. Yeah. So you you know, as it appears back uh, back from the ethereal plane, it stares at Lily in its face and its burning eyes are looking at it and it, kind of wondering where your flute went. And uh, <laughs> behind it, Ugo charges up and slams his maul on its hindquarters and it goes yeah. and As Ugo does so, he goes, surprise! <laughs> uh, so it takes, uh, you said 16 points of damage, yep. right? Yep. Yeah. Boom. Oh, wow, wow, mm -hmm. wow, wee. It is very, from very badly hurt. You do not run from Ugo. Uh, so we are up to, we just did, uh, so now you actually. I think it's my turn. It is James's turn, yes, indeed. Yes, um, and I have advantage. Um, I'm going to do my best to put myself between it and Lily. Uh, so, uh, kind of, uh, and I, I see this thing, uh, and shocking grasp. All right. Yes. With You're advantage. gonna touch it? I'm gonna yes. try wow. to, like, touch it. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's a 20. No, oh. Not a nat 20, uh. but that's a 20. Oh, wow. um, and that's, so An that's artificial a 20. D8. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> like, I keep rolling ones on All this. All the taste. That's yeah. one lightning uh, damage, that and an it loses its 20? reaction. <laughs> one point of lightning damage, and it loses its reaction. All right, it's one um, point of lightning damage. It barely notices, but uh, your hands lay on it, and a shock kind of goes through its spine. And I still have detect thoughts running. I can only read surface thoughts, though. I can't probe any deeper. You are getting rage. Yeah. Just rage. Okay. It's a barbarian, too! Um, <laughs> I, uh, okay, now that, it's, now that its reaction has gone, I'm gonna back up as far as I can, basically straight that direction, 30 feet. 
<laughs> yeah. I Good. love that Morgan remembered its reaction was gone. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll, no, say, no. we'll say it's I great. zapped it, it's and I great. see that it's momentarily uh, uh, electrocuted. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. And I'm backing away. That's All right. Great. That's so that, that leads absolutely. us to... <laughs> yeah, <that's great. laughs> These things are not happy. They're flying back kind of no. this way, kind of flying up, looking around. Uh, that leads us to Fahima. Am I? And you have advantage on your next roll. Ooh, girl. Uh, yeah. From the trainer. Nice. Ooh. Okay, so. Is that, the that, is that Jerry? It might be. It might is that be. the Jerry? Monsieur Boomerang? boomerang. The um, so I have boomerang. advantage on this, but if I want to do a spell that requires a saving throw, can I impose disadvantage for the inspiration? Um, I'll allow it. It's creative. I like it. Let's do it. <laughs> Why not? I'll allow it. Wow. Okay, wow. Allow it. wow. Okay. Need a little like. That's a good DM. Right gavel. There, guys. Yeah, right. I like DM. creativity. Yep. Okay, so I'm gonna do doing? burning hands. Okay. It's a cone, so I want to move so that I'm not hitting Liliago with this. Right. So just oh. split the difference. So, yeah. 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 Just straight across. Yeah. Uh, but I don't want to lose uh, leave range, otherwise it gets an opportunity attack against me. Okay. No, it doesn't. It doesn't? Oh, yeah, it's is reaction's gone. Gone. <gasps> reaction's gone. Yeah. Hell yeah. I'm going to move away from this guy once I burn it. And you don't get disadvantage either on the roll. Since you're within five feet, you don't get disadvantage either. Well, it's the it's a saving throw on oh. them. Yeah. Yeah, Great. so it is a uh, dex saving throw. Okay. At disadvantage. I have disadvantage. Oh, yeah. Uh, so is a five. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Okay, so 3d6 fire. Don't do it. Ooh, oh man! Wait, oh, hold on, hold on. It's fired. Aw, seven. Fired. Seven points of damage. Uh, I mean, it it it, it is. Uh, is well, it resistant. I, get, I was gonna say, is, does it take uh, fire damage? Resistant yeah. to fire damage. Yeah. Yeah. So it takes three uh, or four points. No, actually, it's immune to fire damage. Oh, oh sorry. dang! Well, I guess this is when we find out. You should have. Yeah, yeah I, I would. I should have alerted you to that. You probably would have known that. But well, she got all the. Oh, she I got a high roll on, on on the pega. You yeah. whatever yeah. it is. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but that's you know, yeah. it's player. Yeah. Not yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it does not. It does not feel that. Dang. Okay, I'm gonna move away. Okay. Like just right. away. Yeah, that's fine. Like that? Whatever. Yeah. All right. So that's Fahima. So top of the round is Lily, Lily again. Uh, so this thing is staring right at you. <laughs> it's unhappy <laughs> with you. Yeah. Wrong. Although maybe it's kind of light dented. Yeah. Okay. It's also I hurting a lot. Slowly yeah. pull out my flute again. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. And I look it in the eye. Mm-hmm. Grammy Willow Wisp always says. That strong eye contact and kind communication goes a long way. I'm gonna play you a song, okay? I'm gonna play you a song and it's gonna be fine. <laughs> Who goes after me? Me. You? Okay. You uh, see me sneaking up with my <laughs> yeah. I look at you and I say, Okay. It's okay. Sure. Um, and and so that I'm just gonna I'm money. just gonna try and charm it. I'm just okay. gonna try and uh, Distract it. Distract it, yeah. yeah. Okay. A little I love distraction. It. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Persuasion. Uh, where's my. Wow. Ballsy. You know, <laughs> okay, not great. A 16. A 16. Yeah. Um, it's still pretty good. Yeah, I mean, it, it is sort of. It doesn't understand you. It doesn't okay. understand what, what, you know, why you would stand there and look at it. Its eyes are swirling with hate and, and fury, and it, and it rears up on its okay. hind legs. It's angry. It doesn't like what it uh, sees. You hate me. I love you. We can be friends. It's fine. If it's coming, you don't understand. So I'm gonna sing nicely right it's now. It doesn't, it do, do, doesn't do, do, like do, do, the do, do, sort of do, do, niceness do. it's hearing. It's an no. evil creature who has had a, a horrible looks existence. Good on you. <laughs> uh, Siv, you're up. I am going to take, well, advantage so to speak, of this situation. And I'm going to charge in, and I'm gonna I'm double hand my rapier, and I just wanna plunge it all the way through this thing. Okay? Oh, no. Wow. I want this thing dead. And I also look We're at you. The dogs. Yeah. <laughs> I look at you, and I say, we're going to have to kill it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Something tells me I'll go fine with that. Yeah. That's the most chill I'll go uh, yeah. 13 yeah. plus Probably six. on my page. Yeah, yeah, 19 yeah. to hit? Oh, yeah. Okay. And I'll go. I go was right all along. Actually, you would have an even you would have advantage on this because it's distracted by this I'll strange. Yeah, might as well roll it. Well, I hit harder. <laughs> <laughs> More accurate. Okay. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven points of damage. 
Oh, this thing is, uh, you, you know, as you sort of push your rapier into it, you, you see the sort of fire and smoke billow out of a hole that you've created, and it is going <laughs> in, in much more horse-like than I'm able to do. <laughs> um, but, uh, but you know, it on, is, it, it, it's, its knees sort of buckle, and it, it is uh, it is hurt. The other pegas pegas are Pegasi. fluttering and yeah. flapping their wings and freaking out. I'll go. Mm-hmm. And now it is Ugo's turn. Ugo Dang. goes, die! And attacks it. Mm -hmm. Recklessly. Do it. Oh, finishing blow, Ugo. Oh. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> Starting blow and finishing blow. <laughs> yeah. Starts the party, ends the party. Ooh. Uh, I'm going to guess that uh, 23 hits. Indeed it does. All right. And... Ugh. One more than the least amount of damage I can do. All right. Uh, so that's eight. Nope. Eight. Yes. Eight. Eight. <laughs> eight. That's pretty good. Yeah. Oh, so it, you know, it, you smack it very, very hard. You're, you're, you had your friends show up or no? Oh you're, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, yeah. They're always hanging yeah, out. They're always they hanging out. They swirl around. It, 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 you know, it is. You're behind it. It is. Uh, you're just pummeling on every side. It's got a rapier sticking out of its side with smoke and fire billowing out. And you smack it. Its legs are buckling. It is kind of uh, collapsing under the weight of multiple blows at this point. It is very close to dead. And uh, we are up to. Oh, it's it's, it's, it's turn. turn. Yeah. Uh, so it's you know it's not happy and it's gonna. My snare does not disappear unless it is triggered. It and was it, triggered. I don't think it has. Well, he he saved, right? Yeah, but it's still triggered. triggered. It went off. Really, it just yeah. didn't. He just avoided it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's the tricky, the trickiness of snare. <laughs> Come yeah. on. Uh, so it is going to attack Lily. I'm sorry. Mm. I tried. Mm. I tried. Uh, it does not we like. We are it. friends. <laughs> don't break okay. that flow. But it's going to be a disadvantage. Yes, it is. It's going to be a disadvantage. So we'll see what happens. Oh, eleven. Okay, I'm very hurt. <laughs> no, 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 it's not points of damage, it's a hit. No, it's a miss? No, 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 yes. it misses. All right, so <laughs> it, 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 it had reared up on, on its hind legs and it got smacked and hit by, uh, you know, a rapier and a maul and it, it sort of tries to come down at you and it literally lands both hooves on either side of you in your tall frame and it is staring at you, but it missed on either side and your, your tiny little body was the perfect size to avoid it as it, as it collapsed That's on either okay. side of you. okay, don't be hard on you. <laughs> James. James is pissed. Uh, he sees it. He sees it trying to stomp on our little gnome friend, and he takes a few steps forward, and uh, basically uh, starts humming a little tune. And uh, he, he hasn't cast a spell in a minute, and dissonant whispers. Okay. Wisdom saving throw. All right. Uh, that's a 12. No, that's, 11, excuse me. That's a fail. Yay! It's gonna take 3d6 psychic damage. Yeah. Boom! Yeah. Like scanners, 11 points of psychic damage. And with that, yes. the nightmare who has been confused and pummeled on every side, uh, here's the the ringing of the the flute. The 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 strange sound of the flute sort of transitions in its head to something far, far worse. Some horrible noise in its head, and you see it sort of Eyes cross, fire burning in them, and it face and James falls says, slack. You stay away from that woman. <laughs> and it collapses Aww. in a heap of fire and embers, and there's just an ash pile wow. where uh, a little horsey used to be. Uh, Lily, are you all right? And with uh. that, we take our break. Yes! Uh. <laughs> all right, so when we that. get back, we're going to have to find out what happens. With uh, the plural of Pegasus, Pegasus, <laughs> uh, and, and if and if our uh, adventurers Pegasus? will make it uh, onto the backs of them to ride into the sky, so uh, stick around. Lord Araban will entertain you, and we'll be back shortly. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Yeah. That was Our campaign will continue after this brief intermission. And by brief, I mean about 15 minutes. Right now, let's have a little fun and chat, shall we? You tell me or ask me anything you like. As a matter of fact, just use your mind. You don't even need to type it. 
I, no, no. Do me a favor. Type it better. About that uh, merchandise. Yes. Uh, is it on the way? Uh, how do you communicate to Jeff during the show, says Gellers? Um, psychically. Very psychically. And often um, through an earwig. I don't know. You guess. I should wear a helmet to protect my ba brain. I agree. Yes. It's not a bad idea. As a matter of fact, I had one made, um, but my minion, Elmo, broke it on the way over. I guess they didn't do such a good job with it. Do I do CrossFit, uh, Trey? I did, for a little while. Uh, but the arthritis in my hands and feet uh, was a bit much and caused me... <laughs> you see my arm? <laughs> Amazing, yes? Look at this, I can do it with the other one too. Go! Arm, left arm. Rise! Maybe not the right. I mean, maybe not the left. Let's see. Yeah, right arm! Ah! You see, listen. I love this new... Uh, I'm using a balm on the right side, which I haven't necessarily put on the left. That's the deal. That's why the right works so well and the left not so much. All right, back to what we were doing here. Did I ever try farming brain and cloning them. I'm not really sure how to, how to reasonably answer that. Um, spray some Windex on it. You mean my, uh, my arm? Perhaps I will do. I'll try that next time. Just how many key, uh, secrets do I keep? Uh, uh, at this point, it's become quite a, quite a menagerie of secrets. Do I have a significant other? I did, uh, many years ago. Uh, more like 75 years ago. And unfortunately, I lost her. Lady Araban was her name. Or Abana, as a matter of fact. We spoke about this before, did we not? How many fingers do I have per hand? Uh, five. But uh, I lost um, I lost some in one, in a great war. And therefore, now four. Initially, I had five, I should say. Thank you so much, J-Media. Very, very nice of you. Do I have a stable of pegacorn? No. As a matter of fact, I'm not a big fan of those creatures. I find them to be uh, unbecoming. They're not easy to get into, i.e. their minds. They don't think like you would imagine most creatures do. And a matter, a matter of fact, I don't have the ability to control them very well. Um, where'd I get all this treasure? Uh, minions. I've asked them to just bring it here over decades and decades. I, I mean, I've I've had this dungeon in my um, in my possession for a very long time. So this is quite a uh, quite a while, quite a stack that I've I've gained uh, over years. Who designed my clothes? Uh, I, I would tell you, but then I'd have to eat your brains. Which face tentacle is my favorite of the th of the four? Well, interestingly enough, I was born with five. Again, in a great, uh, in a great passion and uh, in a great fight, I should say, I lost one, which was the longest of the group. Uh, unfortunately, now gone. So really, at this point, I would say I'd go with the right one, far right. Favorite food, you guess. The Lord of Minds, Jerry Trainer. Am I the force of evil deck? You mean... Interesting. I don't know. As a matter of fact, I just put that through my mind and I really rattled it around. I kind of think perhaps I am. Hmm. Let me get back to you on that. Favorite food is spaghetti and meatballs. All right, listen. Tarawaris, you win today's wittiest comment. Absolutely, positively, genius. Well played. You see, I even threw up a hand for that one. Yes, I've grown beards before, but it's not hair that you will see when it grows. It's more like... Pubius. <laughs> I'm sorry. Can I dab? No, not yet. I've been working on it. It's taken... 
taking me time. I'm getting it there with the right arm, not the left. <clears throat> Do I live in L.A.? Where is L.A.? You mean the Lord's Atrium? Yes, I can wink, Bill Mac, but b with both eyes. Unfortunately, I cannot do the single eye blink, as they call, or wink. Yes, I live in Aiden. Hopefully that's how you say it. City of Lost Angels. Never heard of it. Do Mind Flayers have an early stage like Cuttlefish? Very good question. Very, very good question, and one that I do not want to answer, as I don't want to be wrong. I have to look it up in the 5e edition. Human, elf, or orc brains? Human, for sure. Orc brains are salty, elf brains too sweet. Do I, cons do I prefer older and wiser brains? That's actually quite a great question that I don't often put my mind to. The wiser the brain, the more succulent, I would say, but drier, interestingly enough. In a weird way, it's a trade-off. The more, ooh, yes, the wiser the brain, the more secrets it has, yes. Succulence, though, not so much. Hmm. Where do half-elves fall on that? More sweet like elves or less so like human? I'm just not a fan of the elves. Really. It's not a good taste. It's too sweet. Ever work for Acquisitions Incorporated? Um... I don't know. I'm very tired, and I'll tell you, here's my problem. And everyone that was here last week knows it this week, more importantly, today. I've been on a diet. I have been eating fluorescent mushrooms. Or should I say, under, under dark rooms. And my mind powers have gone wickedly offline. It's literally, at this point, been about four and a half weeks since the last brain, and I will tell you, everything just feels slow. No, 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 I, I, I want to eat, no, listen, Dr. X, I want to eat brains, trust me, I would eat yours in a flash. Problem is, the doctor says no brains. It's four months I have to go on this diet, and I will tell you, it's terrible, it sucks. If anyone tries to put you on a diet, you tell them from me, Lord Araban, the Illithid from the Underdark. No, I will not. Mitch Love, just stick with us and you'll find out. I promise you. Gryffindor, no. I don't like Gryffindor. In fact, I'm not a big Harry Potter fan in general. Have I ever had ice cream? Yes, but it's an issue because I have a bit of lactose intolerance. Brains, interestingly enough, it, yes, they are fatty, very fatty, uh, but quite a bit of protein, as a matter of fact. I can eat any brain. Do I enjoy cow brains? Not really. They taste a bit like dung. How many hours a day do I spend on the throne, says T-Bones. I haven't left this throne in good God knows 15 years. Trifung brain. They are mushroom, but almost taste like alien brains. Gamesel, thank you so much. Is it still considered a, is that a vegan dish? Would I be falling under the vegan, uh, vegan order in that case? Wonderful. Great. Would you starve on the set of Baywatch, Gandalore? That's the second wittiest comment I've seen today. Very good. Other than human, what's my favorite type of brain? I'm actually fond of... Unicorns, actually. 
They're delicious. Have I ever had egg foo young? young? No. Give you some magic mushrooms to eat. Well, um, I'll tell you, I've already eaten my share of mushrooms and I'm not enjoying it in the slightest. Brain jerky. How would you do that? I sort of feel like dried or dehydrated brain wouldn't be nourishing. No, no, no. Cooking brains would be a bad idea. How do I be deal with misbehaving minions? I don't. The minute they do, their brains get eaten. Would I ever eat my own brain? It's not a concept I've considered, itch. After this show, I might attempt it, though. No, not a good idea. Because I don't want to lose the ability to watch this wonderful show, The Dungeon Run. Who is the smartest player in this game, I believe you're asking? Me. Have I tried Fyzine? <laughs> yes. No, I have not. You mean to clear the red eye? It's not actually a problem, good sir. That is the color of my eye in its natural state. All right, fine. Listen. It's not really the color of my eyes. I may or may not be very uncomfortably astronomically out of my mind on these mushrooms right now, okay? My eyes are usually completely white. So, just deal with that. Am I slimy? You look slimy. Bill Mac, yes, of course I'm slimy. What, I mean, do you not know what a mind flare does or how a mind flare survives? We have a mucus, uh, we have a mucus slime that sits on the top of our skin, which keeps us safe. I'm not, that is not what I said. Have I ever met a drow that I've trusted? No, never actually. Very good question. As a matter of fact, there's here, there's one here this evening. Not, of course, in the game, but one that was uh, here in the dungeon and I... I made due with him. Have I ever met an elder brain? I was part of a very large um, hive mind. Many elder brains included. The reason why I'm no longer there is I was kicked out. I was, I caused mischief. This was when I was very young, of course. Now I'm alone. And you know how it goes. Do I practice magic? Not much anymore, MJ. I mean, yes, and no. How old am I? Um, last time I checked, 104. Do I get bad memories from the brains that I eat? Only... Only if I choose... Y yes, I do, as a matter of fact. Yes, I do. Yes. I try not to, I try to rid myself of them, but usually during the first couple of bites, or should I say slurps, as they go in to my mind, I will experience the pain, the suffering, the the horror of those dreams, but they quickly pass. Shazam called and he'd like his cape back. Gandalore, you take that back now. What is my worst nightmare? A brain diet. Is that a joke, board game? When is my birthday? You mean in, like, Earth years? Or what, what calendar are we using? What tastes better, an optimist or pessimist? Optimist, of course. Happiness is really delicious. Uh, I was born in the month of March according to your rules here. The worst monster that I'd rather avoid. Well, there are things that I'm not uh, avoiding, not afraid of, you, you understand, right? 
Yes. How long until the illithid empire consumes all? It's hard to say because we continue to have internal strife and struggle. You would think, as a hive mind, we are completely on the same page, but I assure you, we are not. There are many of us who, who, who feel that the, the overall direction is not right and choose other ways. Where do I find companionship? Hmm. I'm a bit lonely right now. Those are not tears, by the way. But when I have my these players here, when I have Jeff and the beautiful team, I enjoy them immensely, and I find that they are a great group of companions. How about that? Have I seen Doctor Who? Who is Doctor Who? All right, here we go. John Smith. I don't know where you people are going. Listen, I'm loving this conversation, but I do need to say, I think we're ready to get back to the action. So if you will, please join me as we rejoin our adventurers. And remember, I'll be joining you in your social conversation around the game. So without... Further adieu, I will pass you back to the wonderful Jeff Kanata. Hearing well, him pronounce your name might be my favorite part of every episode. No. <laughs> Thank you, Lord Araban. I appreciate that. Uh, Lord, as I said, Lord Araban and I actually went to college together. It's a long story. Oh my gosh, what tough, a fool. It's tough rooming with a mind flayer, but you get used to it. Um, okay, so. Did you ever feel brain dead? Uh, I still yeah. do. Yeah. See, you're not the only See, one we can do jokes. this. <laughs> if we all do it, then it you. seems normal. I got you. Baby. Right. <laughs> so, with one last terrifying sound ringing through its ears, the Nightmare Pegacorn, may its name <laughs> ring out in fear across the land, <laughs> collapsed, and as it landed and hit the turf, it like like the end of Infinity War, it like collapsed in a in a spoiler alert for Infinity War. Uh, it, it, uh, <laughs> it landed and turned to ash, and there's a sort of a pile of ash uh, in in front of sort of in the center of the three of you sti- sitting here. Uh, the fight ended. The the two Pegasus sort of jetted, and three remain sort of uh, nervously flying around. One this one's low. These two are sort of sort of flying in the air about here. What would you, team, like to do? I'm gonna rush over to you immediately. Are you all right? Did you get hurt? Um, I'm actually fine. Really? I know. Uh, it came so close to hurting so you. So close to hurting me, uh, but I think my eye contact worked. <laughs> well, you should do that more often. Yes, I agree. Are you all right? Wait. Y- yes, I mean, my wound is still it's still there, but I'll be fine. Okay, I mean, I can I can heal you again if you want. No, no, it's fine. Okay. Perhaps. Now that I'm not so angry. Ow! Oh, I'll go. Oh, we. Oh, I, uh, um. I don't have any more healing potions. I don't okay. either. I, I, I still have one. Do you want it? Might be. Is it real? We might be, we might be able to rest. We might be able to rest soon, so. <laughs> Um, uh, now perhaps... I'm tempted to give you one that's not. <laughs> um... I know you should. <laughs> it might be. I'm gonna saving. gather up the ashes into one of my empty healing potion bottles. Nice. Okay. Nice. Yeah. yeah. So you have a glass bottle of ash. Well, actually, Fahima has a glass bottle of, of ash. <laughs> okay. Fahima. It it turned to ash, but I was not going to smash it this time, so you could study. Oh well, thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. My nice father would love this. Yeah. It's probably magical. Uh, As he hands it to you, the, the glass bottle is much warmer than you would expect. It still feels like it's smoldering in there. Is it still magical? Um, hang on. Let me answer that in a moment, because I still have detect thoughts running. It's good for 10 minutes and mm-hmm. it's concentration. I haven't taken any damage. Um, I'm going to 
put my hands up and start approaching one of the Pegasus, and I'm reading its mind, but I'm not probing yet. Right. Um, <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> but I am, uh, I am kind of softly trying to read its thoughts and trying to, you know. You get a sense of, uh, of relief and um, uh, as if <clears throat> it is sort of contemplating the fact that for, for the first time in a while, no danger is around it. Okay. Good. <clears throat> we're friends. We are not here to hurt you. We need your help. But we're happy to have freed you. <laughs> I put my hand on Siv's shoulder and kind of turn him around and point at what's happening. Sure. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll grab your hand and start walking over there. Oh. Aww. Aww. <laughs> Yeah. By the way, Siv is not a monster for the record. <laughs> I realize everybody thinks that he's this evil, conniving guy. It's Only based on his actions, yeah, I mean, words, don't you, don't you disposition, uh, tendency Behemoth. to sure. steal. Sure. Behemoth thinks hey, monsters are Jeff. perfectly nice creatures. Uh, oh, good. I was going to go and just look in the, in the what I assume is the pit of nesting. The pit of mm. despair. Mm. The pit of despair. Uh, yeah. And I'm just gonna give it a good <laughs> investigative All right, you wanna roll an investigation check? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. I'm not that great at it, but I think I look for these things and that. <laughs> I look for stuff. And for other stuff, 11. Yeah, I mean, you, you, do, you get a, a good once over. Uh, you notice lots of hoof prints and tracks where there isn't a big a go slide mark. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it looks like there's lots of movement in okay. there. Um, you can't really tell. Are there like you, feathers down? Or? Yeah, there's. I mean, there's there's sort of loose feathers in there. There's loose feathers sort of around. Right. Uh, looks like these creatures have all been staying here okay. a, a little while. Okay. Um, Anything other than horse hooves? There's and, droppings. Okay. There's, um, you know, cool. nothing to. Hey. Uh, Magic poop, good. Yes, please. Get okay, the <laughs> I'm gonna take another another of the empty bottles <laughs> and fill it with magical pegacorn poop. <laughs> Nightmare peg. Well, Nightmare I guess it, pe no, I guess it, there's Pegasus be, actual be Pegasus. Pegasus. Wait, it, you know, is there one that's evil warmer? Is there one that's smoking? All right, do uh, it. I'll go sticks his finger deep oh, in one man. pile. He and totally he, does. <laughs> it's not even, I gotta know. It's a Jurassic Park moment. Uh, that's a. Uh, what, what you don't even need to roll for that. That's. I mean, you're gonna. Can I put my finger in poop? Yeah, you're putting your finger in, and there's definitely one that's that's warmer than the others. In the bottle, it's, it's warm. Thank you. Uh, you know what you, you know what you don't want to don't want to ever want to do is mix up your your bottle of poo and your bottle of ash. Just please just don't. don't ever mix those confused. up. Confused. Yeah. Classic mistake. Uh, I'm going to use the celestial word for friend. Okay. You speak celestial, right? I do. You yes. Um, <laughs> and this one sort of flies down and joins this one. This one's sort of still up here. Um, Can I join you? Yes. And please. you hear a rustling. Uh, sort of back in this area, <clears throat> and uh, all of you sort of turn and look, and you see a, a, a smaller creature, oh. uh, a, a pinkish creature, kind of waddle its way out, and it's got, it's sort of sniffing the ground, and uh, Fahima, why don't you roll a uh, perception check? Okay. <laughs> Um, where are my d20? Oh, there it is. This you guys is ready for this? Yeah. You guys no. ready for this? No. 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 All right. Could be, Hold on to it, your hat. Is it good or is it evil? That's the small question. pink creature could describe a lot of Sniffing things. Sniffing around. Pretty good. 16. 16. Okay, so you had, uh, immediately recognize it as a little piglet. Uh, but as it kind of makes its way out, it looks up and it goes, and little wings. Oh, my God. Pop out of oh its back, and you recognize that it's a Pegasus. What? Pegasus? What's happening? <laughs> I told you that there'd be problems in Pegasus. Oh my! It's a Pegasus. What is I happening? I didn't think they were real. I'm gonna. Uh... But it's kind of nervous, and it's standing back around here. This one's still flying. This is listening to you, and and this Pegasus is is uh, attentive. This, this is I'm basically... gonna only talk about them in singular terms from now on. Great. This Pegasus and that Pegasus. Great. Together, they, all have they are individual. Yes. Right, right, right. Yeah. Is one named Emerald? <laughs> Emerald Pegasi. Pegasi. Oh, yeah. I like it. Yeah. Oh, man. Hey, you introduced the <laughs> open yeah, the it. What's our favorite band, do you think? Uh, Pegasi? Uh, <laughs> sorry. Can I approach it? Uh, but I want to release some um, meat. 
and yeah. let Meep kind of like lead the way in in that I, you know, I'm kind of using it as like a tool of like, look, there's another creature that's just like you and it likes me. The Pegasus is, the so Meep sort of comes off of your shoulder and expands its very small wings, but they are still brilliant and fiery. Uh, your little pet baby Pegasus is floating and, and sort of preening and you know, kind of uh, looking as magnificent as it can in its tiny little form. And the peg, both of these two individual Pegasuses, damn it, uh, <laughs> they, <laughs> they, uh, they both notice the, and sort of, you can tell that they know it, respect it, and uh, acknowledge that it is an important creature. The Pegasus mm. or the Phoenix? The Phoenix. Okay, got it. The Pegasus yeah. is ignored by all Pegasus. The Pegasus. <laughs> oh. It is stand, It is at the back of this. Is this board. Animal um, Farm? <laughs> Siv, you're a bit yes. more limber than I. Um, right. Do you want to try, and I'm, I'm pointing to the one closest, and I'm kind of keeping eye contact with it, and like, do you want to try to um, get on top of this. I would, I would love to be if, you're, gentle. if you're telling me that it's safe. And I'm looking it in the eye and I said, and I say, we would like um, to ride with you to another place. And it goes. <laughs> <laughs> oats, get the oats. Uh, the I'll oats. take out the grain quickly. What's left of it. <laughs> yeah. It's like a, it yeah, yeah it's a, it's and I'll walk forward and just hold it out with a flat hand. All right. And we've got that trail mix that we this found one, in the cave. <laughs> this one kind of comes over and looks at looks at your hand and kind of nuzzles through it and, and eats some. Uh, dip dip the Santa. Uh, doesn't doesn't like love it. it. Doesn't love it, but it's you know it's eating. A dip the. And they both perk, perk up. Mm -hmm. Lily, you know the magic word. And this one, this one kind of flies down. Oh, I'll create a miniature We come of from her. Diptha. Yeah. Diptha sent us. I think I can give it to you. I think it's like a physical object. Okay. Oh, yeah. Say, uh, say Grumtha, the, the, other, the other one. Gr and Gr Grumtha, whatever his name is. Diptha sent us to ride you to the Lodestar to find Grumtha? I'll change it so it's a Lodestar. Mm -hmm. And the. Uh, the Pegasus immediately, you know, flies over and kind of puts its head. I need you to do a dexterity saving throw. Oh, oh. Mm -mm. man, I just we're gonna have to kill three Pegasus guys. Can we <laughs> 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 That's not bad. Uh, plus uh, four is seventeen. Wow. All right, so as it kind of comes underneath you, you feel roll. it and you kind of roll gracefully uh, behind your. You do a kind of a back roll, back somersault, sure. and land on its back. It initiated the action, but you sort of wow. rolled with it, yeah. and you're sort of uh, mounted on this on this Pegasus, and the other one kind of leans its head down and patiently waits. I'll <gasps> hold out a hand. This one to is you. still uncertain, kind of standing right here. Well, um. I guess I can get on there with you then, yes, Sue. Yes. Or I can ride the Pegasus. Ride the pig. You're going I... to ride, oh, I didn't even see that thing. What? <laughs> what does, is that? I just realized I'm like, the only one that can fit. Wait, does that, does that have bacon wings? You can't eat it. No. It needs to fly, <laughs> Lily, up. Okay. Um, the, uh, the, the, the amulet sort of pulses oh. and says, its name is Hamlet. <laughs> Hamlet? Of course Hamlet? it is. Uh, Hamlet. Hamlet the Pegasus. I look at Hamlet and I say, yeah, I got right I, right. should I ride you? Hamlet the Pegasus. Okay. That, one isn't, that one wasn't me. That's great. <laughs> that was the all Hamlet amulet that all the time. Two T's Lovely. or one? Well, we only have, let's Probably do one. the math here. We only have three Pegasuses, individual, I know you're all unique personalities, <laughs> and one Pegasus. Yes. So just wait, I feel like Uggle, well, you Uggle. should take one. Mm -hmm. This might be a bad time to tell you that Ugo's afraid of heights. <laughs> what? Uh, you know what? 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 <laughs> when were you going to Have you ever that? been really high? Uggo? Yes, I have. <laughs> all the time. Remember That's all the what I do. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you know, if it's like, it's, don't let Ugo, that spell that I forgot to prepare but yeah. I learned? Yeah. I prepared it today. So if you fall, oh, yes. I can catch you with my magic so you don't get hurt. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> I, uh, I'll go. I was holding that inside. Do I, and I, I didn't believe her? her. It's okay. I'll go. It's up to you. Yeah. I'll okay. go. I'll help you, can you up. You inside if you want. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Nah, no, How are you going to help me up here? Lily, not... Lily puts her hands out to give Algo a boost. Oh my God. <laughs> that's the <laughs> cutest Lily, thing ever. I don't no. think that's going to work. <laughs> well, Algo, I'm just trying to comfort you. Also, when you get up there, yeah. if you're scared, uh -huh. 
close your eyes and imagine your favorite place in the whole multiverse. Okay, uh, I'll go. I'll go. Goes up to one of the Pegasus. Which one? Um, this one. Which one's on the back of this one right yeah, now? Okay, so the one that's not nobody's on. Uh, there are two that are nobody on. Okay, if it's is it the one bowing? Is that the one that's one bowing? Yeah. 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 Uh, he kind of goes up to him and goes, um, I think you can understand me. Please don't drop me. Uh, I think you're pretty. Oh, <laughs> and I try to give him the biggest, like most charmingest orc smile that I can. I mean, and how can you resist that? Yeah. Let's find what the, let's find what the dice say. <laughs> Is charisma check. Yeah, that's a charisma check, which isn't that bad actually. The, these things aren't going to work with the animal handling, so don't even worry yeah, about that. Yeah, I don't have that. It's a three. Oh. Oh. So it it uh, it's it gives you a sort of friendly eyes, but it takes <laughs> a couple of steps back. It doesn't like the look of your size. I mean, it, oh. it, it, you are a very big, heavy-looking creature. Uh, uh, I come up to it and I say, know. "Excuse me." I know maybe that was alarming. However, I promise he is good. He's a friend, and we need him. We need him to 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 help dip that. Is there a stronger looking one of the three of them? This definitely looks like it has a little more girth to it. This <laughs> a little, one, but it, a little beefier. It, yeah, but it doesn't uh, it doesn't so seem quite as uh, down to clown as the other ones. Got it. Uh, that's what they say. <laughs> <laughs> it's not you know it's not as it, it, these these two sort of have been. Um, as soon as you said Diptha, they, they perked up and Garumpha, and they kind of, this one has hung back a little bit. The pig seems very excited. It's, <laughs> happy, going, it's happy not to be tormented anymore. I'm going to approach the one who looks a little more gruff, and um, I'm going to say, Diptha's in trouble. The load, her lodestar is damaged, and it's on the ground now, and we need to go to Grumpha. <laughs> is that the name? Yeah, okay, yes. Grumpha. And to see if they're all right, and to see if that lodestar is still intact. Please, can you take my large green friend? Aye. <laughs> Roll persuasion. That's an awesome. Yeah! yeah! Confirm me, confirm it. Oh, oh, uh, it, oh, I know. Uh, <laughs> No, okay. I swear. No, okay. That was well, an awesome. I believe you. Next time. That, uh, for a total of 23. Wow. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> this creature that looks uh, uncertain and uh, sort of been hanging back, here's the name Garumpha, here's the name Diftha, and it takes a few hesitant steps forward and then flies up into the air and swoops down and comes around sort of back behind where Uggo is and then kind of leans one knee down and looks up at you. And nods. Oh. <clears throat> and I tell Ugo the word for celest the, the celestial word for thank you. <laughs> um, 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 um. <laughs> um, he but, said, uh, yes, yes. Give me a roll a yeah. d20. Yeah. Just roll a d20. Uh, 12. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you mangle it a little bit, but you know, the, I think it looks like the uh, the Pegasus is sort of uh, impressed by your ability to speak celestial. Gracious. Yeah. And, and then, uh, uh, yeah. so now you sort of climb up on it, and as you do, uh, you sort of grab its mane and yank yourself up and pull mm. your leg over it. You see it sort of wince <laughs> under the, the massive Aww. weight. Yeah. Of, I mean, you're a 300 pound oh, orc. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it, it is it is sort of straining, but it pulls its wings out and spreads them wide. And kind of stands up straight and kind of manages your your massive size for a second, and uh, and waits patiently as the rest of you sort of assemble. Look, I'm, I'm gonna just make a quick note, mental note, to learn a spell that can help Ugo next time. Okay, make a mental note. Uh, mm -hmm. look, looking at the Pegasus and Lily, can she ride that thing? Uh, I don't know. Lily, uh, I'm Lily. <laughs> uh, uh, yes. Sir Hamlet. <laughs> uh, so you walk up to it, and you're sort of like almost face to face with yeah. this thing. It's you know, it's a not a huge pig. It's sort mm -hmm. of uh, you know regular pig size, and you're a sm small thing. So you can kind of lean mm -hmm. up and look at it right in the eye, and it's got these big snout, and it's looking right at you. It's got little pig wings. Sir Hamlet, <laughs> I need to get with my friends up there. Do you think? You would be able to carry me. I weigh 37 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> and it sort of like nuzzles up next to you. It has, <laughs> it has a, a, uh, a, 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 what is it? It has a feature. 
Did you find this creature? <laughs> what, you, what, what am I? Mitch, yeah. <laughs> what is your name? Come on. What's my name? The most offended. You come <laughs> unprepared. Uh, it has a feature called Act Adorable. <laughs> yeah, it does. Uh, this is a teacup Pegasus, and it has a feature called Act Adorable, and it oinks and sniffs and shakes its feathery wings, uh, and it wants to garner affection from you. Okay. So uh, the fact that you showed it any affection at all, it's sort of you're sort of charming each other at this point. <laughs> Yeah. Stop it! <laughs> Their best friends. Sam, I'm going to go with this just because I think you'll be able to fly faster and sure. I think Pegasus should come with it. Yes. Hamlet, sorry. Of course. Uh, come Pegasus. with us. Thank right. you for it. I, don't, I didn't want to... Uh. All right, so you kind of swing a leg, your leg over on the back of this a pig, it's, it's kind of got rough rough hair, uh, you nothing really to hold on to, so you kind of reach out and grab its little ears. Mm -hmm. Is this okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> it is... In love with you. Aww. Okay, so <laughs> and I'll, that, help, I'll help Fahima climb onto the remaining uh, Pegasus. All right, so Fahima and James, you're gonna climb on as well. I guess so. Yeah. So Fahima and James are both. Do it myself. You, you, no, I'm oh. sorry. Okay. Or maybe I mean I don't want to do it for you if no, you guys no, want to divvy gonna, up. If you don't need help getting on, please, and then I will get on behind her. All right. So the two of you sort of are. I'll uh, let you take the lead, though, because you're very excited. Wizard mobile. <laughs> <laughs> M Mage mobile over here. Uh, and as soon as the last of you uh, gets on, as soon as James sort of lands on the back of the Pegasus, uh, Siv's Pegasus wings go, yeah. and it <gasps> up, just yeah. up wow. into the sky. Let's go. This one up into the sky. The, the pig flaps its wings <laughs> and looks and kind of up into the sky. This one, oh, by the way, <laughs> Feel free to name them. <laughs> um, yeah. This one, uh, uh, you know, it's, it's struggling. It's, its wings are flapping, flapping. Feathers are going everywhere. Dust is even kind of being kicked up because it's straining under the under the weight of Uggo. And it's sort of feebly at first, and then with more gusto, uh, manages to fly up, 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 in, and you are soaring. As the forest itself <gasps> falls beneath you, oh you see trees gosh. get smaller, you're going higher and higher, you see sort of birds go by. Oh, go, don't look down! <laughs> You're holding on to the manes of the creature. Uh, Lily, you're holding on to the little pig ears. Mm -hmm. uh, you see, uh, over to your left, you see uh, the, the fallen lodestar that you, uh, 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 that you had explored, and uh, you see the path, you see Torvald's camp going beneath you, and you look up, and you see the clouds getting um, closer and closer and closer, and as you do, you sort of see, uh, Siv, you see it first, a sort of black shape Fly oh, across your vision pretty fast. Oh no! This is circumspect. We have problems, <clears throat> and I'm going to point out the black shape. Right. And it, it's sort of it's moving very very quickly through the clouds. It kind of disappears in the clouds, comes back out, and you're, you're, the the Pegasus don't seem to even notice it. They're kind of beelining it up into the clouds. Right. I'm going to lean forward and say, Twilight, as fast as you can go. <laughs> You said name Which it. is my favorite of the Twilight novels. Twilight. As fast as you can go, the sequel to Glitter Man or whatever. Uh, sorry. Um, Twilight. <laughs> go, I love how you just horses. had that ready. <laughs> Horsey. Might be dragon. <laughs> okay, so. Ours is named Pigeon. Okay. Uh, so <laughs> the, the wind is sort of streamed by your face. You, you, even the eyes are tearing up a little bit because the air is getting a little thinner and things are, it's going by you very fast. The wind is, you're flying very, very fast. Yeah. Hamlet and I are having just a nice conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Hamlet is kind of moving yeah. in fits and starts. He's just like, you, you know, like going lot? up. Yeah. It's really nice up here. <laughs> <laughs> he just loves you. All right, so a black shape. You, you alert your, yes. your dragon, our uh, dragon. Your, uh, uh, now I know what it is. No! I, get it. I didn't I say get that. It. Your Pegasus. Uh, and Episode three, we already have a dragon. And uh, um, the, by the way, the amulet suggests the name uh, Sky Thighs? Sky Thighs. I don't know about that. The, the amulet has its own ideas about things. Wait, what? <laughs> your name is Sky Thighs? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I've been calling you horsey this whole time. I'm so sorry, Sky Thighs. Sky Thighs. <laughs> All right, so. Um, That's canon now. <laughs> he's carrying heavy. Maybe he also. I need you to roll a uh, dexterity saving throw. <laughs> sure. That's sky Thighs. <laughs> oh, no. One. 
Oh. One, oh natural God. one? Yeah. Shoot. That's a so uh, yeah. as, as <laughs> uh, a still, shape right? moving so fast moves into uh, it, it, right into view and kind of strafes right at you, it's not as large as a dragon. It's, it's sort of bat-like looking, and it, but it looks like it has a, a very strong uh, bone in the front of each of its wings, and it comes strafing at the Pegasus, and the pi uh, Pegasus, and the Pegasus, uh, it moves out of the way at the last second to try to uh, to avoid the strafing run from sure. this creature. And as it does, your hand kind of slips off the mane, and you go yeah. tumbling sure. off the Pegasus, and you're sort of free falling at this ah, point. Yeah, <gasps> totally. <clears throat> Am I within sixty feet? Yes. Yes. Do it. Do it. Do it. You you free fallen right? Oh yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do the feather fall then. I was just gonna like maybe wait until the rest of us get knocked off, but <laughs> <laughs> we all see this, yeah. Yes, you. I mean, he's so Siv is out ahead of you. Yeah. Uh, these two are second. You are kind of trailing behind under the you know the the heavy weight of the the Pegasus, and then you know you're kind of <laughs> flittering among all of them, you know, on the on the pig, uh, and you see this black shape come out of the clouds and kind of strafe by the the Pegasus, and it. It raises its wing and turns, and you see no. Siv fall. Oh. Yeah. Actually, before I cast Featherfall, I think we should attempt to actually get him uh, on our Pegasus. Maybe both, but okay. Well, that is Featherfall's back up. So, okay. Oh, all right, let's get him. Okay. Well, I don't attempt to. Uh, so you you have never ridden a Pegasus no. before. No. What? You have no idea. <laughs> you have Rambo's never left home. Like, <laughs> you never ridden a Pegasus. You have no saddle. You have nothing but but. But you she does have guidance. And determination. <laughs> guidance. Yay. Nice. So you kind of yank okay. yank on the guidance. yank on the mane and push its head and it, the the you can tell the Pegasus at first kind of resists and doesn't like it and then sees what you're indicating to it and it folds its wings back and tucks Ooh. them in tight and you feel a sensation you have never felt before. Oh. It is uh, an acceleration that you're not sure you can even handle. Roll a dexterity saving throw, both of you. Oh. I start holding on very oh. tightly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay, uh, uh, 14. Mm, uh, 14 plus. You're fine. Okay. So uh, so uh, you both, you know, you, Fahima, you grab on to the mane and, and hold tight <laughs> as the, your face sort of peels back. I'm and not even James, looking, I'm like wrapping my yeah, arms James, around Yeah, James, you hold on to Fahima, the, you're yeah, like yeah, grabbing yeah. onto her, <laughs> and uh, you feel this, this intense amount of speed, and the wind is ripping by you, it's kind of cold, there's moisture in the air, and as you head down toward, as Siv is falling, you're, the Pegasus is clearly making a, uh, a move to, to cut it off at the pass, so to speak, and, uh, and as it sort of comes at you, what would you like to do? As you kind of coming, coming underneath of where Siv is falling. All right, I've got my, I've got my eye on Siv then, and um, oh man, I'm gonna try and reach my hand out. Um, gonna try and like grab a hold of his leg or, or clothes or anything that I can just get a hold of. Hang All right. with, to me with your arm. Yes, yeah, yeah, and I'm gripping onto Roll it, roll a dexterity check. Oh, can I, man. I don't know if I see this. Coming in, but can I try to twist? Yeah. And so you have advantage because uh, he's trying to help you kind of grab onto him. Beautiful and <laughs> guidance <for> myself. <laughs> I, probably, I probably don't have time to do that. Mm -mm. No. I don't think you would. Okay, I agree. Uh, Fourteen. That dexterity you said, yes. Dexterity. Fourteen. Yeah. So uh, that was on with advantage. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So as Siv uh, is falling towards you, you reach out and you you grab a hold of his shirt, and he's kind of. Uh, he misses the the back of the steed, so to speak, and uh, kind of you grab onto him and it pulls your arm. You're not sure you have the strength to even do it. He <sighs> bangs into the side of the Pegasus, which kind of affects its trajectory as well. Roll strength check. Oh, that is not good. Mm. And if you want to roll dexterity oh, to see if you can help, that's an awesome. awesome. <laughs> All right. Don't even worry about it. That James is, summons. Is yes. James I have a nine strength from somewhere. <laughs> from somewhere, James summons a, a strength that he didn't even know he had. And as you kind of grab that shirt and hold on for dear life, uh, Siv is hanging on the side of the Pegasus. The Pegasus itself uh, is kind of straining under the weight of three creatures now. Sure. Yeah. And uh, but you are. Holding on and uh, gripping, ah! and, the, and the, the Pegasus sort of levels out, and you don't feel that same uh, speed that you had to worry about uh, that you know just a second ago. But you do look up and notice that black shape kind of 
go across the Do sky Do I see again. the other Pegasus, yeah. the one that dropped him? Yeah, it's still above the you quite a ways. because you guys Twilight, I'm so sorry <laughs> by its proper name, Twilight. Um, all right, and I have a hold of, a hold of his shirt, basically. Or, yeah, you yeah. sort of managed to get some, some arm okay, there yes, as well yeah, to we're, hang we're on. Basically Hamlet like, and yeah, I fly over. <laughs> Hamlet, and, and we're kind of underneath him as well. Uh, Fahima, try to get the other Pegasus down here to, to try to get Twilight down here to, to help. Hey, Jeff. Yes. Um, Ogo says to Sky Thighs. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're all happy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, sky Thighs. Uh, <laughs> help me kill Thin in Sky that hurts him. Okay, uh, <laughs> Sky Thighs loves that you're using its proper name. And so uh, it sort of, it, it struggles, but it's kind of going up higher, where this is all happening below you now. Uh, you're kind of moving up closer to the bottom level of the clouds where you see this sort of shadow right. that is kind of zipping back and forth across the, across the sky. Yeah. So you're making your way up there. Cool. Um, are you guys gonna do something? Um, yeah, I'll, I'll just shout, um, Twilight! We need your help, desperately! You see wings from above you kind of settle down, and, and uh, it's not going as with the speed that your Pegasus did, but it is heading toward your way, and you've kind of leveled out. You're holding on the Pegasus that you're riding. Uh, uh, pigeon, uh, pigeon, 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 pigeon. Is, uh, is straining under the weight of three creatures, and it's sort of, its friend is aware of that, and is kind of swooping down, and it kind of comes up alongside uh, the big wingspan, making a gap between the two of you. Yeah. But you kind of see the two giant winged horses fluff, kind of even in space next and, to each other. And I try to rock Siv, yeah. and I like make yeah. eye contact, like I'm gonna swing you, and try to I'm, swing him do it. over no. onto I'm Twilight. Gonna, I'm gonna try to, as, as he's swinging me, I'm gonna try to rock with it, because I, I mean, I, I'm pretty skilled when it comes to acrobatics. Yeah. Do an acrobatics oh. check, and with advantage. Yeah. Yes, so please. not rolling that dice. I'm roll, in. The box. roll in the box. <laughs> roll, roll in the box. Roll in the box. <laughs> 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 the, the, the chanting is better. It, is. it couldn't yeah. possibly be worse than that <laughs> dice right there. I think that dice is cursed at you this point. So oh. there's a three. Mm. That's advantage. not better. With advantage. Nope. We got advantage. What? It can't be worse than three. It can and be three <laughs> again. Two threes? Yeah. Wow. Plus your acro, what? which is what? Yeah, what? plus my acrobatics. Curse which is, happened to I don't you. Know. I did oh, something terrible. What's your terrible. acrobatics modifier? Two. Plus eight. Oh. 11. Oh, okay, 11. So as you, yeah, that's a pretty good acrobatics. So, uh, he s swings you, and as you try to leap out and uh, grab onto the uh, Pegasus, you, you all you get is a handful of feathers on the wing, sure. and you kind of mm. slide down, and now you're grabbed on to sort of the back tail of the Pegasus <laughs> hanging off the back of it. Its feet and hindquarters yep. are sort of yep. in your face. You're holding on for dear life. It doesn't smell great, you know? <laughs> Le least of your worries right now, yeah, but sure. uh, you're hanging on, and the sort of the two pega Pegasi pe pe Pegasus, Pegasus. Pegasus. They, um, they, <laughs> they part and, and fly away, and it sort of aren't, you know, it's not parallel much, to each it's other. It's not much, but I can try to cast Mage Hand to kind of give him something to boost off of. It can only hold 10 pounds, 10 pounds so it yeah. wouldn't be much. It's not gonna be much. Uh, the, as you're kind of flying away on the on the Pegasus, you you know your spectral hand emerges out of your <laughs> Did nose. You get him! Yeah, it kind of <laughs> flies over, and you it you know it's kind of cradling your feet. Actually, I have an idea. Uh, do I see the spectral hand? Yeah. I'm going to, uh, and I'm only holding on with one hand or two hands. Or I think you're trying to hold on with two, but it's not easy. Okay. Um, I'm going to shout over to you then. My rope. Use my rope. Okay, uh, I'm gonna guide Digit to grab uh, the rope, rope that's uh, yeah. on his back or on his shoulder and start to unwind it from him. And do what with it? Put it around the creature. Uh, okay. Around Twilight's neck. Got it. And Making some reins. I'm going to uh, loop it uh, gently around yeah. Twilight's neck and then loop as much as what's left around Siv's Forearm, I guess. So I, that, I probably wouldn't be able to get it around his hip, but yeah. Yeah, the hand, you know, it, it kind of loops around the the neck of the the Pegasus. Pegasus kind of understands what's going on. It's okay. it's not, you know, it's not unaware of not, this tactic. Right. It's, it sees what you're trying to do, so it it's not resisting in any way. And uh, your mage hand isn't able to, you know, 
uh, navigate the, yeah, just... the chaos of his arm on the tail, but I think you're able to grab onto the rope. Sure. Yeah. And so now you've kind of got this rope and part tail, yeah. and you're hanging on. So if you want to do like a athletics check to try to climb up the back of you, the... You really want me to roll. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it, yeah. it pleases me to watch you fail. <laughs> this is all going on anymore. Yeah, you, so you, as you kind of crest yeah. up into the clouds, you see Jeez. the tower yeah. resting on the clouds, okay. and you see the shadow going back and forth. <laughs> Inside the clouds. Okay. Did you really critical <laughs> fail, dude? That's another one. Seriously? Yeah. Oh wait, can I get bardic inspiration? Uh, I don't. Does it work after the case? I don't. I think you have to be before. Oh, yeah. Cutting words wow. can be after, but I don't oh think man, it's buddy, can, yeah. buddy, uh, you are uh, unable. You're sort of stuck there, unable yeah. to uh, pull yourself up. In fact, you lose your hand loses grip on the rope, and it <gasps> actually unravels and sort of oh, flutters. No. You see it sort of flutter. Can and I head. pinch it? You can try. You can do a okay. dexterity check. So okay. the rope itself unwraps from Twilight's neck. Yeah. And okay. Hamlet, sort of... let's go. Oh, awesome! <laughs> <pizza>. <laughs> Oh, yeah. she did it. You got friends. Wow. That's a high thing. places. That's a good friends are for. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, so <laughs> your piglet Hamlet, he uh, does a determination you've never seen in Hamlet in all the time you've known each other. Yeah. You've oh, never wonder. seen this kind of commitment and determination. And Hamlet rushes toward the, uh, the the rope. Actually, catches it in his mouth, not even in your. But you also kind of grab I'm the. Also trying to catch it with my mouth. <laughs> no, no, your mouth. <laughs> I mean, unless, <laughs> no, I don't know, no, 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 I'm not gonna kink shame anybody. Uh, the, uh, the, the, sorry. Uh, the, uh, the, the rope lands in your hand and in its mouth and you kind of go up and you, the little pig goes up next to you. I'll take any help I can get yeah. at this point. Uh, we're gonna get this done when pigs fly. Yeah, um, no kidding. This is a much longer <laughs> thing than I, I mean, thought it was gonna be. That so, yes. uh, I have your rope. Uh, can you, uh, can I kind of lasso it around? Uh, yeah, sure. You, you, you sort of, I mean, with the 20 years, like, rocking the yeah. world here, you <laughs> caught it, you move up next to him, you sort of get his leg, or mm -hmm. whatever you want to, his leg is the easiest part to lasso, because it's yeah. kind of hanging off yeah, the yeah, back yeah. of the thing. So you grab, you get his leg, what do you want to do next? Um, I want to then kind of attach him to the Pegasus, so, like, he no longer has to worry about holding <laughs> on. So Hamlet and I, like, kind of, like, swirl the rope around, like, creating, like, like tying him to yeah. right. the Pegasus. So uh, <laughs> the way this works actually is that from the equation. is that yeah. the the pig and you both sort of land on the back of the Pegasus. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like docking. <laughs> yes. So you have Pegasus, pig, Lily, Sim. Sim. <laughs> uh, and you kind of stand up on the back of uh, of Hamlet and put the rope around the neck of the, the Pegasus and now He's connected, and the rope is connected. You tie it off, mm -hmm. and then you sit back down on uh, on Hamlet. You hold your arms around its neck, and you do a sweet ass barrel roll. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and I need yeah. to see this scene spray painted on the I side know. of a van. Like, yeah. a, you want a pig that flies ASAP? That is amazing. So yeah, barrel roll, tight wings. Pig goes back to uh, back to level. Wings come out. You fly off. You're sort of. Okay, you're yeah. all right. You're back on, baby. I'm watching Hamlet do this in like a single tear. It's like, it's beautiful. <laughs> I'll go up there and go, Quit playing around, Sam! <laughs> all right, so everybody's back on their, their, Pegasi? Pegasi? Individual Pegasi. 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 They're Pegasus. Pegasus. Each Pegasus, Pegasus has a person or two, and they fly up uh, into the clouds. You make it crest the clouds, and you see this magnificent tower glittering. Mm. It, you realize in that moment of seeing it how wrong the lodestar that you previously saw was. Mm. What it's supposed to look like. Right. It's beautiful, it's glittering, it's shimmering and, and, and sparkling in the sunlight. And uh, the Pegasus, various Pegasus, um, just deposit you on a, on a kind of cloud with a platform on it. It looks like it's actually got a platform made of metal, which seems odd because the whole structure looks like it's stone and gorgeous and sort of classical looking, but this kind of garish looking metal piece rests on, on this platform, but it definitely looks like a platform that was used as a landing area for, for large winged creatures. And as each Pegasus sort of lands there and deposits you off, they are 
not happy. They're kind of looking around for what that same yeah. creature is. Did I get a look at it when it knocked me off? Yeah, I mean, I, I described it to you, right? It looked like a like a very large bat almost, except it had bone on the front of its wings. Right. Mm. Like a like a really hard, razor sharp bone on okay. the front of its wings. I am completely white. <laughs> Absolutely terrified. Yeah. And I'm probably in shock. It's been a day. Does the white show yeah. through your fur uh, or is it under your fur? Uh, I, go well, over, uh, I go over I to uh, Siv and untie him. <laughs> He's currently tied yeah, to a... Sweetly unties you. There's a, a little streak shaken. of white through his fur. And as you guys sort of <laughs> get off the, each Pegasus, they fly up into the sky and sort of are kind of circling and looking for the whatever creature that is. They're kind of nervous and looking, and now you guys are on the platform, and you look up ahead, and there's a magnificent facade of this giant tower, uh, sparkling and glowing, but again, the front looks like there's a metal door, but it doesn't look like a, a metal door that should be there. It doesn't look like this place would have a metal door. It looks like it should have a beautiful arch yeah. or some, something like that. It's like but, someone's made some haphazard renovations or mm -hmm. something. That's probably an accurate assessment. Is there any sort of cover, or is it literally just like square landing pad, walk up to the door, and that's and that and there's no like no trees, obviously. No, no trees. Yeah. We're we're on clouds, right? There's right. A, there's this landing pad. It, it, there's clouds all around us. Uh, I'm gonna move this off because we're yeah. done with this. Um, Thank you, Matt. And on the, map. the only entrance is this entrance. Okay. Right. And you, you sort of are able to get very close up to it, but it's sheer. And th this door has no handle, no knob, no anything. Mm -hmm. okay. um, I'll go, it's a big door, right? Bigger than I'll go, how big is this door? Yeah, it's bigger than I'll go, okay. it's massive. Um, yeah, I'll go, takes his hammer, and lightly in his hand just goes, I'll go, gong, 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 <sighs> Gwendolyn! You hear like a <laughs> reverbing <laughs> gong, gong, gong. <laughs> Gwendolyn! Gwendolyn? You saying Gwendolyn? Okay. I'll go. What? Stop. We don't know what's in there. Also, it's not. Torvald, Gwendolyn. tell us Gwendolyn's in there. Yeah, but we don't know what else is in there. <laughs> oh, I get it. <laughs> Gwendolyn's friend? Or a large black winged thing trying to kill no, us. No, that's out here. Uh, there could be more in there. So, so do we go in there? Oh, I see All what right. you say now. I okay. see. It's okay. Siv. Siv, look at me. Siv. Same. I'm trying really? to huddle us like close to the tower, like to try and like, yeah. like if there's a shadow of the tower, I, I kind of want to just you know like I don't want to go in yet because right. we don't know what's going well, on. You in can't there. go in. There's no way Sieve. to go in. But the, but the best we can kind of like yeah like sitting Siv down, uh, like okay you know just kind of minding but like okay trying to get what cover we can next to the tower as best we can. I yeah, slap I mean, a... Siv in the face. I'm sorry, but I need you to focus. We need you. Okay. I should be dead. What happened? But you're not, okay? You're not. So clearly but the universe wants you here. If you should be dead, then you're saying that I'm not a worthy enough um, companion to have saved you from the sky. Fahima, what? it's hmm? not a judgment on you. I, I, I'm, trying to, I'm trying a psychological tactic right now. I, I, I don't think I'm going to be much help. I think I'm cursed. What? what? I tried to steal from Torvald, and I think he cursed me. What did you try to steal? A book for you. <gasps> what? Where I wanted it? to give you all gifts. I felt bad for trying to use that stupid boomerang, and when I threw it and it went out the window, I felt I owed you all something. It's coming back. Someday. Siv. Siv I wanted to give you poison so that you were more effective in battle. I have this stupid cloak, and I pull out a uh, cloak that I stole, and I hand it over to Ugo. I wanted to give you this. Oh, those cloaks, and yes. And I wanted to give you the potion of haste. <laughs> hey, roll, roll perception. Okay. I'm gonna use the box. Yeah. Because I'm right here. Yeah. All right. Use that box. Use the box. Perception. Um, actually, it's not that bad. Uh, even with the four. Uh, we're gonna go with a seven. Okay. It's <laughs> not seven. that bad. All right. With a four. <laughs> so, uh, as you sort of uh, put it on, you, you, as it crosses your vision, you see a little clasp on the front, uh, and uh, embroidered on the clasp, it says Suth. <laughs> <laughs> Property of Suth. Please return to Suth. Yeah. <laughs> I'll go just go. Uh huh. Oh, and I, hand I, you, I, I take I hand I, you the potion of haste. I take the potion of haste. And when I tried to steal the book, something stopped me. I'm sorry, 
I have put you all in great danger. I am afraid I am not much of a thief. Oh. Viv, that's not true. You've stolen so many times. <laughs> and if I could just say, Siv, uh, I have not ever had a better battle companion. Thank you, Ugga. Yeah. So you just... might not be very good at stealing, but you are very good at stabbing things. Yes, I appear to only have one gift. <laughs> also can do backflips. Ugga can't do backflips. Hi, that was fantastic. Thank you. You so... see me, I pull out, um, I, I ask Lily to give me the golden earring. Good luck. As you guys are having this conversation, what happens <laughs> is, as you're kind of sitting there, everybody's talking and you're not really paying attention, behind you, right in front of, you're sort of off to the side of this door, and eh, about five, 10 feet in front of the door, not even that far, uh, you see the, w this metal platform go and then up out of it, a pedestal rises. And on that pedestal. No, no. Oh. oh. <clears throat> Wait for it. Oh, yeah. We're waiting. Is it good? Is it bad? We don't know. We don't know. Is oh. this? Uh, whoa. That. Uh, what? Start and. Well, mode? that's a, it. Doesn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't say that. We were gonna. Nah. It's, it's right. just. Uh, it's just four holes. Four holes in a device on a pedestal. Um, <laughs> hang on. Anybody ah, got something to block come on. holes? Hang what? on. Um, uh, detect magic. I mean, you try to be dramatic. I know. You try so hard. It's you do, beautiful. You do it's a series of surprise parties, and somebody's always got to park in the I love wrong you. lobby. And I love you for doing them. Um, detect magic? Uh, you do not detect any magic. Okay. Um, We'll get to this in a moment. Uh, but what do you mean? I'm gonna put on the earring, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna, you know, against my better judgment, um, Torvald, Torvald, can you hear me? And you feel a warmth that starts in your earlobe oh, yeah, and spreads you. into your yeah. inner yeah. ear, and it kind of goes into the Ugh. depths of your skull, and it's warm and kind of weird. It gives me a little, little, little vertigo, little yeah, vertigo. Yeah, 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 yeah not, not See, great. you should be enjoying this because this is kind of like what it to you. Have you made it up there? We are up here, yes. Um, we are in front of the Lodestar. Oh, can you uh, get in? What do you see? Uh, we're, we're, we're getting to that. First, I need to ask you something. Um, <laughs> Lily's fanning you, his face while he does this. By, thank you. You, by the way, didn't happen to, I can only hear this, right? Yes, it's only you, yes. Uh, I, by, uh, by the way, you didn't happen to curse Siv, did you? And I'm looking at Siv. No, I did not curse Siv. I would not curse any of your number. Why? Why, what makes you think that? Um, I think we're just having a crisis of self-esteem. Um, <laughs> Siv, there's no curse on you. It would be uh, against Torvald's better interests. Does he know? Does he know what? That I tried to steal from him. I hope he knows. What? Torvald. I always, I always thought wizards protected all of their things. Surely if I... Torvald, Siv tried to steal one of your books, and he's very sorry, and he therefore thinks there's some sort of curse upon him. <laughs> he was unsuccessful, I assume. Apparently. Well, it is a game of trust, is it not? Indeed. Um, Siv, there's no oh. curse. Well then, we have bad days. You <laughs> had a very good day at the first Lodestar, if memory serves. I James, don't. James, if I may. Tell Siv he is welcome to one of my books. He's actually, uh, upon your return, has offered you a book. <clears throat> a book, one of his books. I hate to be a bother, uh, but I'm staring at things that I don't understand. I agree. <laughs> and, uh, I don't want to die. I'm sorry, we need to go, Torvald. Okay, thank you, thank you. Oh, Wait, don't why would? <laughs> <laughs> the secret to victory is love. <laughs> James, I can take that again. If yes, you want. please. Thank you. I, ah, I not, told you, right? Not it's a like fan. a sunburn immediately. Ah. Okay, so um, what is that? 
look like trap. Uh, I'll, yeah, I'll advance upon it. Okay. Okay. Um, slowly. How, how big is it? It's about that size. Okay. Uh, there's, that a, size? there's a, there's a, there's a pedestal, pedestal and it sits on a pedestal and there seems to be like a sort of metal pipe connect, that, you know, on the pedestal that kind of connects it down to below. And again, uh, it's made of metal. It's not made of correct. this glittering yeah. stone. And there are four holes in it. Is there any writing on it? No. Besides, no writing. Got it. No writing, I, Jessica. I'm gonna try to. <laughs> are those lightning bolts on it? Yeah, the lightning bolts are on it. Okay. Uh, I'm know. not gonna not. touch it. <laughs> I don't Without touching it. They don't make these things to order, you know. <laughs> Without touching it, I'm yeah. going to try to investigate it. I guess. Okay. As you're kind of looking it over, uh, wait, you want to do an investigation check? Yeah, and yeah. I'll, I'll use guidance. <laughs> I was just or a guidance. Guidance. <laughs> guidance. Yes, that is good. Guidance. Um, that is oh, proficient in investigation, aren't I? Yes, I am. Uh, that is 18. So you, this looks like a mechanical defi device, uh, the, the likes of which you've never seen before. Yeah. Um, you can't discern anything about it, how it works or what it does, but it certainly looks like uh, there are places for fingers to be put in it. I don't like that. <laughs> okay. Do you want oh, me to God. check the traps? You, um, yes. Yes. Oh. Don't put your fingers in it. <laughs> I'll go so, over and try to <laughs> search for traps. Yeah. Could we? Okay. okay. Yes. I was going to suggest taking a short rest while we have a moment. Uh, on this sure. floating metal platform? Well, it's not the safest, but what else can we do? What and, about the bone wings? And thing? and and Ugo is still pretty uh, banged up. No, I'm pretty well, good. Okay. <laughs> Maybe they'll welcome us inside and we can take a rest in their chambers or something. Do you, so, think, that, do you think so? There's Maybe? A, Maybe? Another <laughs> slot on the on the door sort of falls open. It's a, a tiny thing. You didn't even notice it before. It looks like a little metal trumpet. And you hear from emitting from that. Friends, friends. Oh, I hope you're friends. Based on your actions, that depends. For all of you to earn my trust, one thing there is to do, you must place your fingers, one, two, three, four, into the lock. Open the door. That's the one thing Dipta told us to do. And I'm gonna go stick my finger in it. All right. Wait, that, we just need three more people. That's what Dipta said? Yes, she said, she said one thing you can do is trust. trust. Yeah, but, All right, Lily goes over there as well. Is, I agree. Oh, can she reach it? Wait. <laughs> We're gonna do a thing once we decide who's doing it. What is that? What are, Come on, Lily. Oh. <laughs> I have very little to lose at this point. James, put my There's only you only need four. I'm not doing it. All right, let's do it, guys. Let's do it. We're gonna do it. We all lose a finger. <laughs> <We all> lose. <laughs> who is who is it? One, two, three, four. Why don't you step aside for not just me. a second? <laughs> James, here, James is not doing it. Uh, 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 um. Backing away. See if I know how to do this. All right. Here we go. Is it like a Roomba? Put your it's fingers in. It's a game in. of Simon. Come on, <laughs> step around. Put your fingers in. Oh, Doesn't matter God. which finger. Doesn't matter which finger. <laughs> and it will tell, it will test you for diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not a go, not a go. I would expect it to land. <laughs> Damn it! Aye! <laughs> 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 All right, and when you pull your fingers back. What is that? Why do you have that? <laughs> hey oh man. Oh my God. James is very glad <laughs> that he's so, so nervous. So both of you? Yeah. Okay. Whoa. Oh, it's only two of us? Well, I got Only two. Did you not get shocked? Did oh. you get shocked? I got shocked for Oh, sure. I thought all of us got shocked. What? <laughs> no, it was just me and you. <laughs> and you pull your finger back and it looks like the tip of your finger is missing. Ooh. There's blood, a drip of blood coming down from both of you. Uh, uh, you, uh, I'm fine. Okay. That's not cool. I still trust you. And then you hear. <laughs> and the door opens. <laughs> Good sound effect. For that fully work. No. Really, really nicely done. That's really well. <laughs> you <need> it again? <laughs> It'll be on VOD. <laughs> uh, so the door opens. Is there any HP damage to that? One. Cool. Single, uh, single HP. The stub toe and now a shocked finger? <laughs> yeah, you gotta watch those uh, extremities. I'm gonna finger. need to borrow that digit. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Sorry, I'm bad at it. All right, jokes. so the door is open. The door is open. And immediately, that contraption and the pedestal drop in and the thing closes. And it swings in? Swings in. Um, 
Someone Bef owes me a fingertip. Before, are, are the Pegasuses and, and Hamlet uh, still up and around? Or are they no, gone? No, they they're not in your view right at the moment. Okay. I just wanted to be sure. Um, I'll go inside. Yeah, I, I will. Do you have any more of that dirt? No. No, I rubbed it on my <laughs> arm. <laughs> you rubbed some dirt on it. All right. <laughs> I rubbed the dirt on it. It's always, I, that always I works. I felt better. <laughs> so as you, you, you kind of lead? Mm-hmm. Sure. You walk in. I'll, I'll be stealthy, but I'll, I'll go inside. Okay. So uh, you walk in, and again, that as you walk in, that uh, that trumpet comes to life again and goes, <laughs> You should have left when you had the chance. You have no right to now advance. Think you can keep up with me? I'll knock you down and down again, you see. <laughs> Listen here, we're not in the mood for any of your games. We were sent by Diptha. Is this? Remind me of the name I told Grumtha. Grum, is this Grumtha? <laughs> you no response. We're here on serious business. Again, no response. As you walk in, in, into the, to the, uh, there's, it's like a hallway. Not very long, but it, it looks very strange. Okay, so there's a long hallway with another door at the end. Mm. And there is stuff in this hallway, S strange things, uh, tables with contraptions on them, stuff tacked to the walls, drawings, and uh, it looks like blueprints. Uh, and at the end of this hallway, at the far end, the back door looks like the familiar cloudstone archway, but again, a metal door looks like tacked there, and it doesn't fit. It's a rectangle in what should be an arched way, which means that there are little gaps, cr gaps yeah. right, yeah. Uh, around the edges. And through those gaps, you hear the most thunderous banging sounds, periodically. Bang! Bang! And as those bangs happen, the whole hallway illuminates with like a blue flash of light. Every, every step you take in, bang, it illuminates the entire hallway with blue flashes of light, almost like a strobe effect as you're walking down this hallway. And you see tables with these strange blueprints on them and uh, papers lining these tables. And at, on, on the right-hand side, you actually see a vivisected creature. Wow. A uh, uh, winged creature that is pulled apart and oh. pinned to the wall and has its innards, it's clearly dead. It's oh. vivisected on the side oh. of the wall. What, oh. what are they blueprints of? It's not immediately clear to you. Mm. Uh, there are strange um, uh, uh, gear devices, like, you know, uh, sort of metalwork and, and contraptions of all kinds. And you notice as you walk down the hallway and you see each of these things, these tacked up, there's, there's uh, notes and things scrawled on them, but on each of them in the bottom right-hand corner, it looks like a stamp that has been stamped. Uh, let me get it right. <clears throat> uh, stamped uh, intellectual property of Fardinald Ertenfurt, steel under penalty of most heinous death. Great. Okay, I'm gonna get Fardinald Ertenfurt. Fardinald uh, no. Ertenfurt. Ertenfurt. Have yep. I ever heard that name before? You have not. Okay. Steal uh, under penalty of most heinous death. <clears throat> well, it's a good thing Siv thinks he's cursed, so <laughs> he's not going to be trying to steal anything for a while. Right. Um, I am going to hold my hand up so that you guys don't come into further into the hallway yet. Let me look for traps first, Good. and then you can come through. I'm going to point at the name at the bottom of the, at the bottom of the thing, and I'm because I think maybe we're being listened to. Mm. Uh, go inside all of your heads and say, I don't think Grumtha's in charge of this place anymore. Mm. Okay. Roll perception. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, fifteen. So, as you as you're trying to do that action and, and you're in their heads giving them that news and you see, see that stamp in the bottom right hand corner. You're also sort of looking at these scrawled messages and you and reading some of them as you go by and you see things like too much chaos, must find order, process too messy, more materials needed, more underlined. On another it says clever, clever, be more clever. 
On a third, it says, organics won't work like metal. New approach needed. Iterate. Oh, boy. And another, it says, need more power, and then that's crossed out. And then on a, a yet another, it says, they all underestimate me, even the mage, no more orders. Hmm. Even the mage. So I I'm, can't read. So you guys all look real scared of that sign right there. What does it say? Just sound notes. it out, Ugo. So you start with the first letter. <laughs> it's all right. Uh, it's all right. Um, what? what is he heinous. heinous? Yeah. What does heinous mean? Really bad. Horrible. Yeah. Oh. He's someone. Go ahead. Someone has been trying to create something. We don't know what. That is circumspect. Yes, it is. Are you noticing all of the metal <laughs> that shouldn't be here? Did yeah. you see any metal on that lodestar we were in yesterday? Did, does Ugo recall metal on the lodestar? No, Ugo does not recall that. No. Uh, no? That is not supposed to be here. Mm. This person probably isn't supposed to be here. Uh, I'm going to be getting as low to the ground as possible okay. and sneaking up to the door. Yeah, again, as you're doing this, even as he's in your head, as you're looking at these things, you know, it, it is this oh. strobe effect that's kind of emanating from this, um, uh, you know, uh, shaking the, the door, the metal door. Is the rhythm hinges. of it pretty regular? Yes. Okay. Okay. I want to hide Meep. That was horrifying, what I just saw. I don't want that to happen. How would you like to hide in, her, in your hair, perhaps? Um, yeah. It's frizzy and, and big enough, I think. Yeah, yeah, it's sort of fiery and frizzy. It's and you, out. And she <laughs> sort of nuzzles it. You know, if we're in clouds, <laughs> right, we're right, surrounded by water. Uh, you are very low to the ground. Yeah. You want to... Roll stealth. <laughs> I don't know. Do you want? I me feel to bad that? making you even touch dice at this I'm point. I'm gonna touch his foot. Guidance. Do you mind if I borrow one of your dice? Please. <laughs> if I give you bardic anything you want. Oh. <laughs> Did I just put that on Mr. Whispers? Okay, I didn't. No, you're good. Oh, you have guidance and bard and bardic inspiration. Okay, I'm definitely going to check to see if Mr. Whispers even survived all of that. Oh. oh. You're not gonna make me kill Mr. Whisper. I don't know, man. I don't you know. Didn't you didn't take the impact, really. Yeah, no. he was. He's in your pocket, right, right. man? Okay, well, then I'm, I'm going to. I'm going to pet him for luck. Okay. Yeah. I love it. Oh. Pet him for luck. Because at this point, you're gonna I'm, add. You're gonna add one to your roll. You're gonna add one to your roll. Look at that. <laughs> I am. Yeah. I am. Yeah. I'll take anything been I can get. Been for a long time. Buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Believe in you, Siv. Oh, good. Whoa! That's you can 14. add a, you can add a D4. Number 14. You can add oh, a D4 plus. and a D6. Oh, yeah. You can, but you can save your bardic oh, inspiration yes, for 10 minutes. Yes, you can minutes, save it. Okay. Uh, I'll save it. Yeah, I'll save yeah. it. Uh, so 16 plus stealth is 24. Yeah, you're you're oh, very 25. stealthy. You move like yeah. a whisper yourself. You're yeah. you know you're out ahead of the uh, of the rest of the group, and you're you've kind of made it all the way down the hall. It's not a super long hallway, but again, it's lined with tables. There's stuff all over the the tables. I'm not There's, touching any of that. I just right. want to. Yeah. You're, okay. you're sort of quiet, mm. and you're still, and you're at the end of the hallway, and you are you are. In the shadows. Okay. Uh, but you, you know, you also notice there's like pipes that are kind of feeding through that lead out back to where you came from. All these things don't look like they belong in this place. Okay. What do I see when I get to the square door in front of the round door? Right. It's a, it's a, it's an arch, right? It's a stone, beautiful stone arch right. uh, that uh, has a plaque on the top of it in brilliant. It looks like platinum. It's, it's a, it's a like a silver white. Metal, it's gorgeous, um, and it it says uh, "Welcome all ye who enter here," but it is cracked like someone hit it with something, and it splinters out, and all of the pieces are sort of shards uh, of of that message. Whoa. Okay. Um, I'm oh, gonna... I'm sorry. Yeah. And uh, you know, through through the gaps in because it's an arch, and there's this metal square thing around the edges and those gaps. You're seeing those flashes of light, and they illuminate the entire. It is, it's disconcerting. Did you say what mm. color the flashes were? Blue, blue, like blue, blue. white. Blue. Yeah. Blue. Can I, um, uh, is there like a, any kind of crack or gap or keyhole or anything that I can peer no. through the door to see what's on the other side? No, there's a handle, uh, but there doesn't seem to be uh, a hole that would lead to the other side. Okay, I'm gonna check it for traps. Okay, roll. Nineteen. I'm just gonna use your dice. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. The big boy. Plus, uh, <clears throat> plus uh, perception. Maybe it was. Or investigation. Maybe, 
Maybe it was coming clean to <laughs> Torvald oh, yeah. the day. I mean, I don't want to. The world may never know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, so 19. You, you do not, you're not able to perceive any traps on this door. Okay, then I'm going to check the door to see if it's unlocked. Okay. Is it and unlocked? It is unlocked. Okay, so then I'm not going to open it yet. Right. Listening to the door, I'm going to gesture for all of you to come up to the door. Okay. Okay. Yep. Bang! <laughs> Bang! You know, it is this regular interval of, of light flashing oh. behind the door, rattling it in its hinges. Now you tried the, you tried the handle and it didn't appear to be locked. Okay, I'm gonna take yeah. out two little pieces of cloth at this point and stuff it into my ears because that, <laughs> like, right. being part cat or being cat, yeah. I think that it's would not just pleasant. Uh, yeah, Very that would kill me. Um, <sighs> and then uh, I'm gonna get as low as I possibly can and while they're creeping down the hallway, I'm going to crack open the door just enough to where I can peer inside. Okay. Uh, as you sort of pull it, 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 it sticks, and it, it, it definitely feels like it's gonna require a big yank oh, really? in order to open it. Then I'm going to wait for them to get up to me. <laughs> I have an idea. Yes. Um, well, I, as far as I can tell, Meep can communicate simple emotions and images to me, so maybe Meep can look through one of the cracks? Sure. Just to see? Yes, of course. So, right. I guess I want me to fly up to a crack and look through and then try to communicate to me whatever you feel that it could. Sure, yeah, the, the you, you know, your your baby phoenix kind of emerges from your hair where it had been kind of meekly hiding and it unfurls its fiery wings and it flies up a little bit and it heads to the top of the doorway and sort of in the corner where the biggest gap is, it peers out its little bird head, oh, a little careful. phoenix bird head and you get a sensation of chaos in your, in your uh, confusion, uh, sort of overwhelmed, a, a feeling of being overwhelmed and um, not understanding. Okay, come back, come back, come back, come And back. it flutters its way back. Uh, it was just very scared, it, doesn't, it couldn't make sense of anything. All right, I'm gonna be taking my bow off and knocking an arrow, I'm gonna right, look right. at you, it's don't, stuck. Don't yeah. do that yet. Time uh, to open. Don't do that yet. Why? Wait, what? This person has, again, I'm gonna say it uh, telepathically, sorry. This, this person has all of the advantages right now. Mm. Are you let's sure? Let's talk until, let's talk first until we see what we see. All right. It was, so you described a hallway and this was at the end of it. Yeah. Was there any other direction we could have possibly gone or is it kind of dead end? There does seem to be sort of, uh, you know, beyond, behind one of the tables uh, down at the, back into the hallway, there does seem to be sort of an alcove that you could duck into that sort of shelters you a little bit from the, the noise and uh, the, uh, the, the flashes of light. It almost seems like you could take a short rest there if you wanted to, but uh, it would be, you know, furtive and not... I um, mean, not I have an idea. I wouldn't mind mm -hmm. one. <laughs> Let's ask God. All right. Uh, uh, yeah, okay. A short yeah. rest means both my spell slots back. And uh, maybe some more healing yeah, but for. Could also be dangerous. Could be. But we can keep watch, and if it gets interrupted, it gets interrupted. But at least we should try. Maybe we'll just ask. Yeah, I think this is a good time. This is a good time to ask. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Ugo's gonna. <laughs> of all the rituals and stuff he's seen, he's gonna <laughs> sit down. Love it. Go. Ah. Uh, just ask. It's just in deep speech. And he says in deep speech, um, gods, tell us, would you like us to short rest or to go into dangerous metal door? <laughs> yes. And the gods hear your oh, message I'm actually and scared ask, yeah, really. uh, <laughs> They've been watching us this whole time. They peer through the eye in your amulet. And what do they say? Oh. Uh, so they I, I say, don't, I you don't. hear, uh, you, you sort of feel warmth in your hand Ooh. and the eye blinks twice and you hear, rest, oh. rest. Looks like gods agree with James. All right. We should, okay. we should take rest. So we sort of, Tuck ourselves into this alcove. Yeah, and you, you sort of, you, you know, it's 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 difficult to feel rested. It's difficult to feel. It is a disconcerting place. It's a disconcerting moment. Mm -hmm. This banging is constantly happening at regular intervals. In fact, 
you notice it is happening at very specific rhythm, yeah. uh, which actually helps you rest a little bit because the shock of it becomes lessened. Almost you're, soothing. Well, I don't know if I go that far, but it, <laughs> it, at least you're, you're able to anticipate it and it's not, it doesn't jar you anymore. So, uh, Is there anything that James can tell about the sound? Is the sound metallic? Is, is it is the bang? I it's like, a sharp, fast crack. Okay, and the the light is blue white. You see? correct. Okay. Yeah. I also will do song of rest. Okay. If I can do that on a short rest. So that's yeah. one d six for everyone. Thank so, you. Do you have lyrics? Anyway? I have a song. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Lily pulls out her flute, and amazingly, to all of your astonishment, she actually works the banging into the rhythm of her song, <laughs> nice. and can actually kind of create a soothing moment out of what was once cacophony. All right. Um, it's like stomp. I just want to. <laughs> it's like stomp. It's just like stomp. There's all this stuff, and um, she kind of drums on a table. <laughs> She's like, "Does anybody have a trash can lid? <laughs> Quick!" <laughs> uh, I just. This is something I've been working on. Is just a way for me to work through some of the things I've seen over the past few days. I know, Siv, you've had a rough day. I've had the worst day of my life. Yes, and um, I've and had I've the worst. I've been stabbed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can't even compete with that. I've just had a really good life up until the last four days. Mm. Um, but I thought, you know, we've lost a lot of people, and I thought it would be good to honor them. So, <clears throat> this is a song of our fallen companions, the men and the women we've lost along the way. Though none have been women, I'm sure that will happen. <laughs> Here is a song to remember their names. Roll call. <laughs> you do that for dead guys. Never mind. I love you so much. It's lovely. Um, <laughs> Magic. First there was Phil, who began the adventure before he was skewered in the face in a cave. Then poisonous rats all tried to bite us. Unfortunately for them, I know none of their names. <laughs> <laughs> we went to the inn where Rao was a barkeep. Dufo sold perfume and stuff hurried in. All were attacked by some bloodthirsty kobolds. I'm sure they had names, but I didn't get them. <laughs> Dufo and stuff, they died in a portal. Both cut in half on our way to meet Torvo. Blink dogs and lizards and spiders, oh my. Yes, they all died, but none looked in my eyes. <laughs> but this is a new addition right now. Nightmare uh, Pegasus did, and then he said goodbye. <clears throat> These are the names of our fallen companions. Their bodies are gone, but their memory remains. Wow. <laughs> I love you so much. Wow. wow. Best, best bard ever. Best, best bard best ever. ever. So, <laughs> I'll go to wife's way. You need to publish that. <laughs> Somehow that worked right into this. Uh, this, you know, this percussive <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> sound behind you, and it, it all kind of worked, and you guys were momentarily given respite from the stress of the moment and the stress of the things that you had just been through, and you feel better, you feel healed and rejuvenated, and you feel ready for what's next. So you emerge from the alcove, mm -hmm. and you stare at the door. I got it. I got it. Go to it. This one I know how to do. Uh, I'll go kind of. Uh, 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 yeah, uh, he's gonna rage. All he's right. gonna. Uh, oh, and open the door. All right, you open the door and you see the interior chamber of a magnificent lodestar, a tower. Doesn't look like it's supposed to. In fact, I think we're gonna see how it's gonna look. <gasps> no. <laughs> it is a huge, one single oh huge room that you've okay. entered into. Okay. A giant tower. Holy. Whoa. Careful, careful, what? careful. You're doing great. Oh my. What? Lodestar. What? <laughs> what? And in the center of this tower, it's one gigantic multi-story structure connected by a massive spiral staircase. And in the center is the largest creature you have ever seen. It's what a giant would consider a giant. It is one of the warden's 
of old. <gasps> wow. oh, no. That many of you didn't even believe existed. And it is shackled, it is chained to the sides of this structure. And inside, there is a flurry of activity on every floor. You see uh, flashes of electricity. In fact, there's surges of electricity going up and down this creature as if it itself was electrical, but it is shackled and chained on every level. Its feet shackled to the bottom level. It's wrists shackled to the second level and its neck shackled to the topmost level. And as you see, it is sort of emanating electricity bursting out from it as if it itself is an elemental creating these bursts of electricity. And they they cast down the, the chains and up and around as if they're being harnessed by this very structure itself. And you see mechanical things of all kinds moving and operating all around it. Uh, gears and clockwork technology soldered on to the sides of the wall. And as you stare up at this massive thing, bang, over and over, bang, the, <sighs> the electricity illuminating the room, traveling down the sides of, uh, of the walls, being sort of harnessed in, for some nefarious means, that, my friends, is where we will end tonight. <laughs> oh my God. Oh. Well, I have so many questions. Yeah, so, <laughs> I could play for six more hours. I know, yeah. I do. <laughs> so, yep. next week <sighs> at 6 p.m. Pacific time, here on caffeine.tv slash the dungeon run, we are going to enter the main chamber of an operational lodestar that seems to have Whoa. been changed in some way. It has really become a sky cell, a prison for this warden that many of you didn't even believe existed. And we're going to figure out what to do next. So I hope you tune in. We'll see you then. <laughs> I'll be here. Wow. <laughs> I'll be here. Definitely going to be here. Yep. Oh, my gosh. Lord Araban, take us out, buddy. Ooh. Ah, I'm so excited. <laughs> okay. All right. Rest, 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 rest. To all of you who played along and interacted with us throughout the evening, my and our humble thanks. Please join us next week and every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Pacific, right here on caffeine.tv as the Dungeon Run continues. And oh, make sure to follow the Dungeon Run to get live notifications. So, until next week, May the dice roll in your favor. <laughs> <laughs>